Choose your character.
training. Zelda.
better. Like, holy shit, there's sometimes better options. That's the thing with a lot of bad habits that people do. Um, it works on bad players, but because they're bad, you could uh, you could eat a sandwich in the middle of bracket, play with one hand, it's still gonna fucking work if the player's bad enough. But if you try eating a sandwich in hand with a top player, then they're not gonna take so kindly to it. They're gonna force stock you. So like, um, ooh, can he get down from this ledge? And he can, at least not safely. Oh, and that's a yeah stock, yeah. Uh -huh. Most unfortunate, Tommy just chose the wrong recovery in that regard. So what? Uh, what okay. are we gonna do now? We got we got some combo brain butter from Red and Ice. It's it's funny like Dash had center stage. He had all the control, but that dash attack was just the most impatient, greedy dash attack in the world, and it cost him big for it. Now Tommy has center stage. Tommy got a big up air combo and uh, misses the cape unfortunately. But real press to pineapple Tommy really widening the gap. What was a tied game just as very stock. Well, good nair taking away the stock. Okay. Yep. The, and, and the great part is, Tom, Tommy's still in like, you know, CC percent for what most most of what Sheik wants to do. So this is gonna be pretty rough for Dash. Yeah. Oh, good Dash attack though. At last stock situations like this, where it's your good last stock of the set, Dash really needs to fight the nagging feeling. Oh no, you're gonna lose. Because he can still win. He just needs to fucking work. Okay, oh, that, really nice nair surprised. drop. Yeah, I'm surprised that nair worked actually. Uh -huh. Must have shield poked. Good old melee sex kick. Okay, we are in a true last stock situation. Could be anybody's game. Dash just needs to play super good if he wants to get it, but Pineapple Tommy needs to keep his composure if he wants to get it. Yeah, and, and Tommy just already has center stage. Already just playing. Ooh, that was a good down smash. Broke up exactly what Tommy wanted to do. Oh, I think this is really gonna come down to it, who can like honestly have the most composure. And just, yeah. Oh, but this is a good grab for Dash. Oh, nice tech read. Uh, Fuck composure, who gets a grab first? Okay. Fuck composure, it's a grab first. Yeah, it's not only grab, but whoever's winning is the one with center stage. Percent is less of a factor, and it's more of... Oh, oh, really nice dodge. It all comes down to this. Pineapple Tommy, recovering successfully. Both of them have center stage. Dash on the center Earth stage. And still has center stage, and... Oh, and Tommy finally took back center stage. Maybe he can do something with this. Uh-huh. Maybe he can do something with this back here. On this edge guard situation, will he convert this into a stock, into a set? Oh, that no, would be a down smash. Both of them wildly chasing for a hit, but... Oh, and that good Nair? Oh, that was a strong hit Nair, too. Wow. Oh, oh yeah. Hedgehog, amazing first set. Yeah, that was a good Congratulations, first set. both players. You played your hearts out. You played really super well. Real ass clutcher of a first set. Way to kick off the tournament. Yeah, yeah, we do. Wait, on stream? Oh, bats, bats. Oh man. Alright. I get one set until it's my turn. I wish you could see my whole face right now to get the full picture of how I feel about that. <sighs> Alright, well. We have Cory and. Who? Cory and Artie. Artie. Oh, this is gonna be. This is not gonna be fun. Uh, they, Makes you say that. Uh, they played against each other in dubs earlier, and Artie said, "I don't know what Kirby does." That's weird because he didn't say, "I don't know what Squirtle does." After I played him, he kind of just figured it out pretty quick. Yeah. Which is very commendable because th th my character makes no fucking sense. Well, Peach, Peach Squirtle at least makes more sense. Like it's easier for Peach to just like do peach things to squirtle yeah and i can't just like run in because down smash yeah whereas kirby is just like discount baby puff in this matchup with a uh, bear plus random di shit that isn't gonna happen yeah and his like kirby's crazy combos 
And uh, none of them are real unless you DI wrong. And if you don't know what you're doing, then you DI you're gonna wrong. exactly. So uh So what are your what is your tag? Um the person in the Washington shirt? Uh Serb, S E R B. Okay, thank you. The matchup and experience is Kirby's best tool. <laughs> yeah. Kirby's bad. Corey's sick, so it works out. Yeah, Corey is crazy good. Three, two, Fox. I could see this either working much better because Fox does win this matchup or going absolutely terrible. Uh, I think it's probably better than Peach for the reasons we already discussed. Just that, like, Kirby's ability to wall Peach out is pretty good. Uh, I... I just don't know enough about Artie to know how good his box is. Uh, he's a melee player. He's like a PR melee player. With Peach. All right. So like, every melee player kind of has a box. Now the question is, does he know enough to not have shit like that happen to him? Because uh, it already happened to him once. It did. We've seen we've seen a lot of Kirby's beat a lot of boxes, and by a lot I mean like three times, because Kirby can do that to him. Yeah, uh, definitely don't challenge Kirby there, but now he's at a point where he does not have to ever leave the ledge. Yeah. He can he chill will, there for eight He minutes. will because he's Corey, but he doesn't have to. You're right. And Fox wins this matchup by holding center and dash dancing a lot. And not getting F thrown next to the ledge and missing your attack. <laughs> All right. That was a that that was was good a, DI. That was an intelligent DI to get on stage. He's literally learning in front of our eyes. Yep, <laughs> this is, ah. Uh... All right, good DI out. Ooh, don't love that double jump backwards. Yeah, definitely, uh, one of, the, oh, he actually made it back there. One of the worst things you could do was set it up so that your only option back is the ledge because you telegraph it so hard to your opponent. Yep. <laughs> Eon. I'm so, I'm so used to like seeing shit like that that it's not even funny anymore. Yeah. Um. Kirby does some funny things to Fox. So I think it's all, oftentimes, like, when fighting Kirby, it's really good to just, like, constantly be DI'ing center stage. Not in, like, every interaction. Because yeah, then you have things, I mean, like... If you don't know how to DI, going towards center is probably better. But, like, all of Kirby's throws, I'm pretty sure, is Fox. If you DI right, you get out. Because he falls so fast. Which is why, like, on paper, this is a bad matchup for Kirby. Because he doesn't... doesn't have anything guaranteed or nearly anything guaranteed except for like throw off stage nonsense but yeah in general I think just trying to not go towards ledge is you know a good option always because I mean I think this is the first stock Artie's gotten above 100 on or like above 50 on unnecessary roughness a little bit but like it's cute because he's Kirby yeah. All right, Artie's going to stay Fox. He literally was learning the matchup as he went. He was looking a little better each stock. Three, two, Dreamland. Oh, we're getting some some lame sauce. Did he get Runaway Fox? The Dream? The as long pop? as he plays... Dude, this is a, this is a banger <laughs> right here. What the hell is this? I'm just vibing. I don't even want to watch the game anymore. I just want to vibe. See, already keeps going near ledge, and that's the mistake he's making. It's fun thing about Fox. He has this move where you shoot a laser beam, and it just does damage. Free damage. So if your opponent is standing at ledge and you're not at ledge, you can just shoot at him. Ooh, the footstool. Nerfed the nerfed footstools. Not nearly as fun. Yeah, everybody falls the same distance before getting out of it, right? Uh, something like that. So that it wasn't disproportionately good against Spaces or something? I don't know. Yeah, because that was so good against, like, Falcon. <laughs> yeah. All right, so it looks like when you're Spaces and you get F-thrown, if you DI out, you, you don't get hit by the follow-up just because Kirby can't catch up to you. Yes. And I think he has one of his other throws. No, because, yeah, if cause yeah. F-throw is his only option, because up-throw doesn't do anything to fast oh, that was That was such a good string right there. 
That was a nice, that was a melee player execution. But yeah, cause like, down throw is just a check chase. I did not know that that low profile fox grab. Yeah, that was weird. I thought we got rid of low profiles. No, they just got rid of it on Squirtle. Oh, good. Helpful. I loved it on Squirtle. It was funny on Squirtle. I used to counterpick Falcons with Squirtle for that reason. It, yeah, it was funny. It works. Ooh, that was smart. Ooh. <laughs> I like how he's using his shine, like, almost like a peach float to, like... Because the way Artie... Oh, my That was goodness. a fantastic angle. That was sick. Because uh, when Artie plays Peach, he plays very, like, floaty... He uses his float to mix up, like, fall, fall timings mm -hmm. and aerial timings. And he's, like, doing that with shine. It's really funny. Like, jump, shine to bait an attack and then fall out of it. Attack. It's always really cool to see, um... Like, when players play a different character... And you see like the the like the different thoughts that go through like the player's head. Yep. It's and like, how oh, they he, like he's playing Fox, but he's kind of still playing Peach. Gives a lot of insight into how people look at the game. Yep. I agree. I agree with Arsenal. This man needs to drill. Um, I'm not convinced that he knows how. Also, hi, Justin. Dom says you're really handsome, Justin. <laughs> Did he? Oh. I he touched the ground. Okay. I didn't know f -tilt had a weak hitbox. I didn't know either. <laughs> that was bad. Because he's all feet. I expected just the feet would be the strong <laughs> hitbox. Ooh. Thor's doing a, a better job of not falling for those shine stall baits. Right there, an up tilt probably would have been better instead of the shine. Yeah, that was, uh, again, the, the melee player tendency because shine that would have worked in melee because of invincible shine. Oh, drill. Oh, there, there's drill up. Okay. Box is working, though. It's it's He's not losing that bad. Yeah, that was not horrible. It wasn't like the last one where he got cheesed for a bunch of stocks. Like, they, they went back and forth. Yeah, he at least lost that playing the game. Arsenal of... sucks. Hey, come on. Come on. Come on. He's just a little guy, and it's his birthday. <laughs> yeah, the banger's back on, but I didn't read the name of the song. All right, that means we need a, we need a game three, then. Or a game four. Ooh, that top flat. A great place to go against Kirby. Oh, no. That was just unfortunate DI on a surprise <laughs> back air. Yeah, I think he did that, like, the, the cutter dash edge cancel thing when you hit, like, a hit ledge and bounce off of it. Yeah. And uh, I'm not sure Artie's ever seen that. <laughs> like, a weird, unique thing that Kirby can do that, like, most characters don't really have. That was the rawest grab I've ever seen. <laughs> the patience from Artie right here. Uh. I like how a lot of times when Corey's expecting Artie to move in, he just doesn't. Yeah. That was a good catch, though. Yeah, that was some, uh, some PMGs. Hey, that cheese would have worked in any of the other games with Kirby and Hale. That's fair. Does it work in Melee? I feel like it, nothing works in Melee. Well, not Kirby only does so... it work in Melee, but in Melee, he would have lived. <laughs> that's that's the beautiful part. Oh, okay. Okay. Getting hit by the reverse hit was the best he could have done, and it still wasn't enough. <laughs> that was That was something. 
I guess I'll explain it. So in melee, when you swallow somebody in your midair, you get all your jumps back. So if you're oh. off stage and you use all your jumps and you swallow somebody, you get your jumps back. So not only that, so if they mash out, you could just live unless you're on FOD, which is sure. like a high ledge. That seems reasonable, I guess. Yeah, melee oh. Kirby's got to have something. Oh, come <laughs> on. Now he's trying to end it like in a weird way. Yeah. Unnecessary roughness. Just, just being a weenie boy out there. He's trying to cheese this man in his own venue. <sighs> Alright, I think that's a good play. Yeah, I probably do too. The nerve of that guy. Alright, I'm gonna go play uh, Domlex off stream. Okay, never mind, I'm not going to do that. I'll stay chilling on the mic. Watching P plus sets, that's what I like. Hog CT, we're live on stream. Uh, I thought I thought I was gonna be able to end it with Hakeem, but Hakeem is not who's playing right now. I'm kinda sad. Looks like we may have Corey sitting down joining the fun. We're not having Corey sitting down joining the fun. Good luck, Corey. This is actually, I, I don't know who's gonna win this between, uh, between Serb and Shadowhawk here. Two. Two gamers. Alright, instantly the Icy's are so separated from the start. It was probably on purpose, but oh my god, Nana's paying for it dearly. Nana just does not want to fight today. Nana, Nana tried to call out sick, but uh, didn't do it. You ever have those days you're like, oh, I should probably call out to work, and then you just don't. Because it'd be too much work, it's too awkward. But there goes Nana. The Sopo chain grab gonna do uh, Shadowhawk in for a lot of damage. Is that enough? Sure is. He gets to charge his offense up. I imagine offense up is a lot more up. Oh, no, not enough. Close though. I imagine it's actually really good against ice climbers because you're hitting at least one of them. Oh, the double. The double mag. It'd be cool if you could see Nana's percent. But can't separate them with the uh, with the PK freeze. Only one of them will get hit. Oh, that was good DI for that. DIing up. But it, he's he's going to DI up again. All right, now grab ledge. What he should do is get on stage and go for the up throw. This chain grab is gonna do him a lot of damage. Six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Oh. Wow, that was a great tech. 
nine down throws. Ah, ah, ah. Alright, just like that, the match is evened up. It seemed very uh, Shadow Hawk favored in the beginning, but right now it's just about even. And with Ices, even could mean winning. This, wow, this chain grab is, is devastating. Wow. Wow, that actually covered PK Freeze. I did not think that was going to cover that at all. And is that enough? This is, wow, this is like, I'm on the edge of my seat here. It's all about whether or not Shadowhawk can separate them in neutral. Yeah, so now, now the uh, ICs are at like a, there's enough disparity in percent here where now when he hits them both, they're going to wind up in different places and it doesn't matter, he got down smashed. So this, yeah, this seems very, uh, seems like a very crazy matchup because like, unlike a lot of characters who can at least like get out of like ICs grabs at low percent if they're like, I don't know, Middle Sage, something. Yeah, see, see how they start to go in like slightly different directions because the DI, or rather the, um, the percents are different. That's a big thing that you're gonna need. Wow. I did not think Sour Spot hit was gonna kill uh, Popo. I like how as soon as he gets a hit on Nana, he just ignores Popo and goes hog wild. That's what we like to see here at, ho at, uh, at hog. All right, somebody asked in the chat if Samus is good for a low skill player who needs to improve. Um, in a lot of ways, Samus is a very like basic character. Think of like your Shoto characters from Street Fighter, your Ryu, your Ken. You have like a, you have like an escape option with up B. Up. Oh. Yeah, you have like an escape option with up B. You have like your projectiles that you can uh, control space with. Okay. He just kind of resigned himself on that one. So that scores one one. Um, but yeah, Samus I think is. A pretty good like fundamentals character that'll help you improve. I think the same thing is true with Mario. Oh, now that I'm thinking about this more, sorry, I'm not even commentating this match anymore. Um, Samus is really good because it'll help you, like, uh, it, like a lot of things that Samus has are really good. Like, a good wave dash that'll help you, like, get used to using it as a movement option. Um, she has a really good crouch cancel, which is a great, like, defensive mechanic that everybody should learn. Wow. These stocks are just vanishing. Oh, 
Oh, this is messed up. You can just chain grab till Nana comes back. Holy shoot. Cheese and rice, man. That's crazy. Oh, no. That's a four stock. Just like that, we're in a game five. <laughs> Never mind, we're not in game five. It's 2 1 serve. I'm dumb. Oh, that's messed up how with the, um, with the down air, you can almost kind of force uh, them to go in a direction that they're not DIing for. But I think if you double stick the eye the down arrow, you might not have that problem. Uh, so he's starting to do more of his handoffs to counteract that. Let's see if Shadowhawk can make a good difference here. Oh, no way. All right. He's got to stop doing that. That's uh, that's Shadowhawk's worst habit. Charging that, like, in that moment is so bad. You just... Uh, normally, speedrunning uh, sh last stock Shadowhawk is, a, is an effective strategy, but here, I don't see it. Good guy, Serb. Letting the game go on. Giving Last Stock Shadowhawk a chance. Wow, he just... It looks like we have a chance here. Stop doing that. There it is. A firm 3-1 for serve. Now I think I gotta play Mikoshi. That was some, that was some high level gaming right there. Three, two, one, go! 
You coming too? Nice. All right. Alrighty, guys. Shadowhawk and Serb here. People that just played. Going to commentate this new set uh -huh. against Wombat and Mikoshi, a Pokemon battle. Oh, that was a bad upbeat. Wombat. Wombat trying to flex. Uh, I love Squirtle. Fun little known Serb Gross. fact. Gross. Squirtle was my uh my my third first main in PPM. Gross. In like 3.02, the very end of 3.02, is when I joined. Wow, what a grab. And I played Squirtle and Ganondorf. Jesus. Squirtle is a Pokemon, cool ass Pokemon. Squirtle is a P plus character, fuck that Pokemon. Like, oh my you're, god. You're not wrong. He is still a very much a P plus character. Yeah, 100%. Um, arguably. Oh, great, great waterfall. Arguably more of a P plus character. Now that he has a uh, hit stun on Water Gun. Yeah, oh my god, isn't that crazy? Oh man. So unfortunate uh, that his body was there to not grab ledge. He got hit instead. Fox? Yeah. Going Fox. Uh, Fox, a much better matchup. Um, but also your PM Fox. Your PM Fox, Wombat also plays Fox. <laughs> um, so he's pretty, like, that's his melee character too. So he's pretty, he's definitely comfortable and familiar with, yeah. uh, with Fox. I mean, it's kind of his warm up character too. Yeah, it's by no means a a free matchup as any matchup against Fox is uh asterisk winning. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. It's all fun and games until just like one random drill shine grab up air kills you and you're like, fuck. Yeah, or if you're Fox, it's uh you're doing great, you're doing great. Oh, you got F thrown at four at ledge and now you're dead. Yeah, very true. Because Squirtle can edge guard Fox really well, but on stage is uh, a bit of a struggle for him. He has difficulty contesting a lot of Fox's good moves, which are all of them. Yeah. Uh, drill, Nair, I'm Nair. I'm surprised this is the, the counterpick stage for Fox. I feel like this would be really nice for Squirtle because he's going to kill off the side so fast. And Fox, um, I mean, I guess he's still probably going to kill at the same percent range because it's Squirtle so late. But um, I feel like this kind of favors like a luckier Squirtle kill than a luckier Fox kill. Yes. Uh, in general, I think when you are picking Fox against a true PM character, like your uh, your Squirtles, your uh, DDDs, your Kirby's. Yep. Uh, you pick the stage with the most, with the biggest bottom platform. You're picking Dreamland. You're picking Delfinos. You're picking okay. PS2, because uh, like you said, once you're Fox and you're off stage, it's kind of just a fucking shit show. Yeah, exactly. And you're gonna die. And Fox in neutral is really good and can just be winning by having center. And he can take center really easily. He can hold center pretty well. So you pick a stage Great where hold, you pick a center where, where or pick a stage where holding center is easier, uh, and you hold it. You don't get near the ledge, uh, and then you dash dance back and forth in the middle of the stage until you bait them into something, and then you up smash them. Yeah, I was gonna say I think that's definitely something that Justin needs to start um, relying, honestly relying heavy, heavily on in this matchup. Is just how strong up smash and like up air is going to kill. Versus trying to get like you know shine moments. Un even even Nair, from Nair kind of beats all of Squirtle's moves as well. Yeah. A well, a well placed Nair, which Fox is good it's at doing. It's hard though because Wombat does a really good job of doing like the really sprayed water gun, where the first two little pumps of it will hit the Nair, but the top part Ooh, actually, I actually still hadn't... hits Fox, and then it starts a whole new thing. I hadn't considered that actually. I was thinking of it from the 3.6 perspective of Fox Squirtle, where like it was miserably bad. Yeah. There's a little bit, a little but, bit. Squirtle well, Water Gun probably helps. Yeah. And water Gun's a good fucking move now. It is, yeah. And it's it's crazy when you think about how much, how far you can move at a short hop Water Gun with the what, like it covers actually so much. You can um, also, that also with like Squirtle's movement in general, like you know, his ability to change directions and do it is like, I know like the meme is like, it's, it's Falco laser, but like his ability to like sh shell shift be shell shift one way, then be reverse the other direction with water gun. It's crazy. You can mix up so many uh, approach angles. You can do so much with it. It's just crazy. All the options you have with Squirtle. Out of those, out of those, like in neutral, where you can just fucking throw the moves out mm -hmm. and change direction and just take your opponent by surprise. I, Squirtle, I feel like, is a character that you have to rely a lot on confusing your opponent with what the fuck you're doing. That makes sense, yeah. Because, like, nothing he has is, like, that good. Except for his, like, movement options and, like, shit like that. But, yeah. But you have to, like, you have to get a mix-up to set anything up, almost anything up that Squirtle has. 
Yeah, right now, you can kind of see, like, right now, Mikoshi, I can tell he's getting, you know, he's kind of getting antsy now that he's down through stocks. Same thing happened on Green Hill. He was kind of rushing in right on the fresh stock, and Wombat is doing such a good job of just abusing it, then gimping Fox for another stock. And now he's more, you know, determined to try to get that deficit back. Yeah. And like I said before, like, for Fox to win, you have to just hold center and better character him from the middle of the stage. Yeah. But Wombat's just reading everything he wants to do. Probably again, like you said, he has that Fox experience as a Fox player. Oh my god, what the fuck? Oh! oh. Great tech for Justin! Oh, oh he almost no. got another one, that would have been nuts. That was something. Yeah, you're absolutely right though, you know, I think he unfortunately... Sometimes it's, it's hard to sometimes do like true better characters sometimes. Just because it might oh, not be, yeah. you know, like... Especially on in Fox, like what Fox is comfortable with is just running in at them and then just winning because you're Fox. But yeah. if you actually have to kind of play like that, like, fundamental theoretical smartness, it, it's hard sometimes. Oh, I, th I think playing better character as Fox is impossible. <laughs> it's Fair very enough. difficult to play someone at your level, at any level with Fox, and do well. Yeah, it's kind of nuts. Like, Great I mean, stuff to Wombat, though. Very, very strong, strong, yeah. strong performance there. I mean, I've watched, I've watched Silver play for like seven years. Oh God, yeah, you, you know too much about Fox. And it's just like, oh, there goes Silver. Okay, there he, he's doing good. Oh, and he's oh, dead. Oh, Dude, oh my God. I, Christ, Silver, grabbed, Christ grabbed him at Silver, four. Silver is the epitome of like, you watch the 75% of the set and you're like, wow, I can't believe how good he's doing. And then yep. the other 25% the of the set is like three second lives that he has because he just gets gimped, dies, and then all of a sudden he's like, wow, how is he winning? I can count the number of times that like, Angel Platform drops down against Kais. Gets forward throw. Just one thing happens and you're like, okay, so Kais is gonna grab him. He's gonna do yeah. back throw. And you can like, I can tell. I've watched Silver enough where I can like almost always tell where it's like this is the stock where he's not gonna do the right thing. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. his body language, like the way he plays in game, is like if it's a tiny bit antsy, you're like, okay, so he's gonna like not shoot ten lasers. He's gonna shoot three lasers to get grabbed. Yeah. And then he does. And then Kais back throws him, nares him, nares him again, and this the stock is gone. And he's just done. Fucking over. Is this Hakim doing the music again? It what? is. Oh, Hakim. It's, it's always ha Hakim. Yeah, it's always Hakim. Unless he's actually playing on stream. He might be the... I think he's the last pool. So actually, oh, okay, yeah. This I think he's doing... Actually stream. For once, he's doing the correct thing. Nope, he's getting up. Oh, are we done? Are we starting Big Boy Bracket already? Great, now we have no music at all. Yeah, did he just pick, like, the Deafen song? <laughs> no, he went... Warrior? He went to this screen. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why did he go? What to is this? Stream? A WWE entrance? Fit? Like, what are we doing? <laughs> yeah, now it's the, the fucking the CPU is the sixth box. <laughs> I, I guess I'll show this. Oh my god, alright, let's commentate this shit. Alright, okay. Rob goes in for the crazy nair into the up air. Throwing the pop out. This free for all is wild right now, folks. Is this. Brawl? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that Bowser just SD'd. They got oh. attacked off an air dodge towards the blast zone. <laughs> is that a pre preloaded brawl clip? Yeah. I have no idea. I mean, I it was know. on, but it was on Bowser Land. <laughs> but I thought I saw. Ah, oh, I don't know. There was Biker Wario. It was Biker Wario. Ah, uh, we have the Mullingist Drifter. All Drifter and. Somebody. King DDDD's nuts. Gonna let this awkward silence drag out. Oh, I'm I'm fully I'm ready for it. <laughs> I'm enveloped in it right now. Uh, who are we waiting on? That's a real question. Hey Pat. Slash Joe, who Bull Drifter versus who? Hakeem? Oh. No, God. No, he was sitting at the setup. He gets, he goes to the P plus menu for no music and then leaves to do something. Sick. Absolutely sick. So we're going to have DDD Mario? No, Ness? DDD Ness. He's kind of, Hakeem's kind of like full, full nested. Dude, I've never, zoom, I've never, I've never played his Ness. The zoomed in Mole Drifter. You've never played his He's Ness? He's never let me play his Ness. Not a single time. That's unfortunate. It is. You probably are more comfortable with that. Yes. By a large margin. Uh, yep. Yeah. We had stocks for a while, and I lost to him a lot. Mm -hmm. Then I would come to CT like four times a year and lose to Hakeem's Mario. Yeah, Mario's not that bad against Ices, huh? No. 
I'm probably it's either even or slightly losing for ICs. Yeah, I could see it. I could see it. Mario has a lot of dude. That fair just shits on Nana day in day out. Dude, <laughs> that that must hurt. The so Mario already has pretty easy setups into fair. <clears throat> And Nana always holds in. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say that. Nana literally just gets shit on, I'm assuming. So, like... And, like, down smash. Do down smash. Great so separator. So, it's even easier. Down smash works really well and is, like, kind of... It's so... Down smash is the bane of my existence because it's not safe on shield. But because of their traction, it's, like, so close to fa safe on shield that I try to punish it and I'm slow... Yeah, and then you get messed up for it. And then he down smashes me again. That's so lame. And I'm so like, lame. neither of those were safe. I'm going to punish you. That's so And then funny. I don't punish him. And then I'm mad. Yeah. <laughs> and then That's Nana flies hilarious. off the stage and dies because down smash's knockback angle is so good. Fireballs are hard to deal with. Dude, I trust me, I know. Dude, that's like Mario Mario Lucas, horrible matchup for Lucas. I've heard that. For the same exact reasons as Icy's, where his down throw fucking chain grab literally is just, <laughs> it's so long, and then it just perfectly goes into like up air, one more grab, down throw bear, and I die, and I'm like, fuck. And then he can, and then he can cape, he capes my up B. He okay? sure can. He can cape my up B, he can, I can't angle it. And they're, like, it's pretty much a timing thing. Like, even if I try to sweet spot it, he can still... The cape reaches underneath the ledge a tiny bit, and I just hop up and then die. He needs it. He needs it. He needs it. Exactly. And then also, his freaking fireball just leads the grab. <laughs> and I'm like, God damn it, boy. <laughs> oh, it's so annoying. It's actually crazy. Box. Oh, is he... Dude, Joe ST is going to do Wait. some synchronized blip blipping for us. How did he set this up with one and two? Um, it's like that weird training mode glitch. It's where... supposed to. It's supposed to be one and three. Oh, is it? Yo, start just start multi shining. He doesn't know how he did it. Ooh, after or in between brackets, we should play some training mode glitch friendlies. I don't know what that is. Uh, it's when. You go into training mode. Yeah. Port three. Okay. You back out. Yeah. Go into versus menu. Yeah. If there's no one in port one, you control port one and three. Okay. Turn on teams. Turn off team attack. I get both characters on the same team. You get the other guy. Oh, interesting. I'm gonna date you. Yes, I'm literally talking about that right now. I love Fox Slimers. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, and yeah, then I just play two characters, that, and they both like, follow my inputs. Like, is it just like, is, and is it just kind of like the same thought process of desyncing somehow? Uh, kind of, yeah. That's insane. If you, it's super funny, because it's, it's funny though, because you like can't recover reliably, because like, oh yeah, they yeah, do their course. own separate uppies. Yep. So you're like trying to uppie as Fox, and the other ones are like, I'm gonna go that way. Yeah, that's hilarious. It's a, it's so fun. That sounds really funny. In my like prime i would practice that like as much as i'd play regular that's yeah. hilarious <laughs> it's that just so, so fun funny. to me so i'm gonna make you play it later my like random thing i always do is i just do all-star random infinite time and i try to zero to death computers back and forth <laughs> without, without dying i try to see how many like kills i can get before i die uh they're playing with three stocks yeah. yo three stocks boys three stocks yo boys yo Time, time, time. Three stocks, three stocks. You guys are in three stocks. Uh, all right, all right. You're welcome. Yeah, they're yelling at us for letting them know that. getting mad. All right, and we're back into it. Game one, Astastic versus Mole Drifter. Objection. This is the song, right? Is that what this is? No, that wasn't I have it. no idea. I, th I, th I thought I heard the, like, the Phoenix, right? Like, I don't know most but... video game music. Oh, fair enough. I know Ocarina of Time soundtrack. Nice, nice. Respectable. And Power Hungry Fool from Path of Radiance. I've heard the name title. It's a, it's a, it's a vanilla brawl. It's like oh, a, it's, it sounds like a waltz. It's like on a piano. Like oh. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, yeah, yeah. The best. Right. It's the best song in Vanilla Brawl. Fair enough. Meanwhile, Mole Drifter. Yeah. Mole Drifter hitting, hockey. Hitting down bees. This is uh. <laughs> This is a little bit easier of a matchup, I think, compared to the like the others. You know, obviously the Lucas D2D, um, solely because it's a little bit harder and more committal for Ness to deal with um, Waddle Doos and stuff like that. Yes, they're a, a good projectile. 
that you know, it serves its purpose. Get in the way of a lot of nest things. Yeah, Lucas has like the beauty of just like his magnet, which is an approach tool. It just, since they don't have any weight, they just get heated off <laughs> no matter what. So I can just multi-mag, which I'm already doing to get rid of them. But like Ness's magnet doesn't really do anything for it. Yes. It also, uh, it stops PK fire and block a lot of PK fire yep. angles, uh, which we know Hakeem loves to do. Big PK fire guy. Big PK fire guy. Oh, oh, and he gets the grab. He gets the swallow. He tries Ooh, to do some out. Good job. bull drifting things. He's out there bull drifting on him. Yo, if this was ultimate, bull drifter would have eaten that. Oh, that's such a true statement. Sure, I would love to watch bull drifter play ultimate. I feel like it's funny. I don't know why I think that, but I just picture him playing ultimate. Dude, a ultimate funny time. drifter. Ultimate. Ultimate drifter. Find out his um his ultimate name. I hope it's also DDD. It, it would make sense. No one, no one loves their character the way Maldrifter loves DVD. True. Community passionate member. Got these inhales. So, but like, Maldrifter is so good, and he's known for like, you know, like the Maldrifter like inhales and the swallow side and stuff like that. It's always, I think, the most frustrating thing for me, for me watching him, is that he always does the same mix-up off of the inhale. Like, I feel like he actually could use it so much better than he does. Like um, he just always does up air. shoot and then tries to jump off And then off he air. always just tries to jump off air. Yeah, like even if he just like played suit, like he waited and took a lot longer to jump off air just so that they rush in, like it, it would it would just be a lot better. Like it almost feels Dark Soul bossy in terms <laughs> of how like, he does it. Especially like Nesk is like, everything Nesk does is telegraphed and is up is slow. Yeah, like, exactly. Like do inhale, wait and react to the, to the double jump and then what's he going to do? And yeah, you like you Bobby? literally you literally play the game of I've got a forward tilt if you come to ledge or I jump up and fair when you start up being and you're dead. Yeah, I gotta use those uh the, the different options available to him. Oh yeah. Oh, and we'll see what he can do here. Gets the grab. Oh, another the, grab. The brawl. Oh, he I like how Hakeem dove down really fast like that. That was very smart. Great angle oh, from that. So difficult to do. Oh, oh no. Oh he was trying to do the uh the 3.6. Yeah, the the P plus buffs coming in clutch. Coming in huge. Oh, scary. Bull Drifter, Bull Hailing. Grounded in it. Oh, oh! Oh my god. Bull Drifter activated his trap card. It was insane. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. So that the uh, no yeah. you. Uh... All right. And Hakim just steals that back. Dude, I that was absolutely ridiculous. That was funny. All right. Oh, the quick FD pick. I give Bull Drifter 45 minutes before he, like, once he gets home, to put that on Twitter with oh, some yeah. really funny Bull Drifter tagline. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna, I'll, I, I'd be surprised, honestly, if we can find a way to do it here. Dude, it's gonna be like, it's gonna be like, I hope your day is as surprising as my, as my like, <laughs> my Gordo kill with King Deity. <laughs> and then it's, it's that clip. That's gonna happen. It will. I already know. The only it's question, happening. the only question is when. How soon are we gonna yeah. see it? I'm telling you, it's gonna be within 45 minutes of him getting home. <laughs> or if he didn't drive here in Wombat Drill, he oh, might even do car. it. He might stream. He might streamable it on his phone. S skimming the YouTube yeah. pod and with your and your like 5G data yeah, yeah, yeah. on the New Jersey Turnpike. All right, Hakim just uh, insta resetting, which is fair. You don't get you, not as much time to get Waddle set up. Now Mole has like. He actually isn't at quite kill percent yet, so this is his time to get a lot of good percent. So I want to see him play a little bit, not necessarily slower, but, you know, safer. You know, just force, get, get your chip force damage. Force the team to do something. Yeah, then... get your chip damage. There we go. Yeah. And, like, that's kind of one of Ness's bigger weaknesses, is his uh, lackluster approach options. Um, and DVD's a character... That, like in neutral, this matchup seems like not DVD favored, but he is one of DVD's more comfortable matchups. Because DVD's really good at dealing with characters whose approaches are like linear and kind of bad. Yup. Um, oh, like, nice oh. scoop. Oh, he's got to worry now. Oh, oh and he barely missed no. it. Dude, Hakim was so smart. He did a tiny bit more drift back right at the very end. Oh, oh the combos. Oh my god. He's going off. I think, Mole's, I think Mole's doing that thing where you realize you're playing a top player. Yeah. You're and like, you... oh fuck, I can't do something stupid. That's not gonna work. And then you uh, whip your easy punish because you're like, ah, oh, that's not gonna work on Hakeem. Turns out it can still it is, work on Hakeem. It, it is gonna work on Hakeem. There we go. Got oh, great. Him. Yep, there we go. And now 
Oh, oh no, it's okay. All right, a little bit of nerves there, but it's okay. That was smart on Hakeem to capitalize that. <laughs> I love that trade. I love an any move trade with DDMB. Oh, so close. He almost, I, if he just canceled it a little bit higher up, he would have, I think he would have made it. Oh, fucking phenomenal. Hits no, up with no, the no, big no. mallet. Oh my god, I love DDD F tilt. DDD F tilt is crazy, it's so, so good. good. It's such a long move. It's such distance. What a good, like, a good disjointed straight on poke. A little rapier esque attack. Have you ever wanted to equip Ganon F tilt? <laughs> That's what King Beauty did. Here we go, it's like King time. Okay, See, Fire City. It's hard because, like, I'm seeing Mole. Like, the options he's choosing to poke against Hakim is a lot of bear, which is fast, but it also doesn't have the range you're looking for against Hakim's big fair or the magnet. So, like, I feel like you should just be playing more of, like, a like a hay batter batter and swinging with fair or F-tilt, like we keep talking about. Yeah, it's weird because, like, DD, all of DD's aerials are good, but they're also kind of bad at the same time because they're, they're all pretty laggy or, like, bear doesn't reach very far. Like, they're all short range or laggy. Yeah. That like you can't just you know, he's not really a character being like jump in the air and just spam his aerials at character at least players like Hakeem who are really good at like navigating the air. With, yeah, definitely. With, like, like everything Hakeem does is very deliberate. And if you're throwing out moves as DDD, Hakeem is the kind of player who's just gonna like keep into them and then kill you. That makes sense. Which is why it's it's difficult. The scramble against the oh come on! Oh, that was so close. Nice try, Moldrifter. I think I think FD was a totally fine pick. I think he'd yeah. easily go back to it. All I want to see him do is like take hard take stage when you have stage, and then slow down the edge guard. Like, yeah, he needs he needs to push his his advantage stage, for lack of a better word. I hate that term, but also like this is when it makes sense. Like when he has this in the air above him, or he has this on stage, he needs to kill him every time. Yep. Like it's so hard to get. Oh, he just tried to, like, big juke. It's so hard to get neutral wins against the team. That, like, when you do, you just need to, like... You capitalize on every single one. Oh, my God. Oh, no! Oh. Full drifter! Oh, my God. He actually... He put, Haki was so afraid. He was absolutely terrified of what was about to happen to him. I know, oh, that's, no. I know that's why it happened, but I'm gonna pretend that Hakeem was uh, just getting, making full damage himself first. Oh yeah, just to pepper him up. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna Ooh, pretend that's Smart forward air. Oh, he evens it up. Oh, oh, smart, oh, smart not DIing to get on platform. Even then, that's the platform tech chase is scary. Very scary. Plus, Santa kill everybody. I mean, especially when you're the size of the platform down here, just hits <laughs> regardless. Covered, like, no yeah, what. like it doesn't matter. Oh, nice. Oh, he gets it right back. Oh, oh, he does it again. To win this game. Oh, He's wow. Set, but I think Ball's gonna win this game. What's gonna happen? Ball loves Green Hill. Very good stage drinking community. The back eight, throw eight, coming eight, out, eight. though, but nope. Not enough. Ironically, probably because of Green Hill that killed him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is the kind of stage where like the the inhale fair stuff like kind of has to work because the blasters are so close that like DIing the inhale out to avoid fair puts you very close where like any move will kill you. Yeah, I think one thing I want to see too. I really want to see Moldrifter start crouch canceling some of these fairs at early percent. I really don't see Moldrifter yeah, do a lot of crouch cancel. Yeah, actually, uh, so that's the big thing Anna Kumatora has talked about a lot is uh, so fair. Fair is, fair is the bad approach to it. Yeah, it really is. Everyone can CC it, everyone can CC and like kill you for it. But a, a lot of mid-level players don't. Okay. Oh my god, oh my god. He's just doing things to him. Oh my god, he almost Bootsy Beano'd him. <laughs> uh, but like, Fair... Oh, nice up air. Very smart move, Maki. That still killed on Green Hill. Like, Fair shouldn't work, and it does not work against good players. But it works against mid-level players. And... There was like a period of time where she was like putting in an effort to like really improve and she's like I need to stop approaching with fair because it's bad even though I win stocks because of it. Yeah. It's because a lot of players won't CC Cause, it. Yeah, because if you fall if you fall into that crutch once you do play somebody that is going to CC it, you're just like you're not comfortable with the correct way to play it. Yeah. So like I see down throw dare, like it's not real but I don't know how to DI it so Fuck you can you. just do it. Fuck you. <laughs> I mean I didn't need it against you, I could have just chain grabbed you. It just got you there faster. Uh... Is that a wombat pop-off? Somebody's popping off. 
Somebody's. I don't know. It sounded like. Uh, I'm gonna assume it was a wombat pop off because who else? Yeah, wombat. Wombat. Wow. Or dom. Okay, hold on. The so wom dom wombat over combat. Right. Hold on. Okay, hold on. So, I. Oh man, that. that hey, that's exactly what happened when wombat came up last time for me. Okay, so <laughs> I, I know. Join the club. So I mean, join the guild. I'm down. I'm down for a good pop off. That's fine. But like. Squirtle. That was like really loud too. It was like loud know, and yeah. aggressive. Was like worst matchup. Must be like if I popped off beating a Bowser. Listen, if I beat Twisty, I'll pop off. Yeah, but I can't. That's true. Yeah, you know you're not allowed. To. I'm not gonna pop yeah. off or win an You're Icy absolutely Wario. not allowed to. Icy's Wario. Yeah. Yeah, pop off Holy or win an Squirtle Zelda. There's an entire hype documentary you've seen about Icy's Wario. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> it really is. It really is like one of the sickest pop-off clips ever. The fact that somebody had the audacity and the ingenuity to put on a, a, a crowd cam right before it happened. Uh, oh my god, insane. Like, Simpsons level of future there's, predicting. It, there's so many fantastic... Joe, what do you want to say? I think he's trying to take my money real quick. Ooh. I, I put out there... I put out there ASR money matches anyone at the Wahog venue. Oh, I forgot no. that Joe would be here. Yeah. Oh my but god. I'm a man of my word. That's so. Joe's bread and goddamn butter. Go play a best of five. Hey, there's a setup open. Man, I can't believe you did it for $100. That's crazy. <laughs> Damn. Oh, really? Wow. Big rough. All right, guys. I hope you have been enjoying the stream thus far. Uh, I believe Pools is now finished. We're going to be going into our uh, top eight for this tournament. Um, we're going to have some wonderful talent like uh me and serb who are just on commentary i uh, still am um we're gonna have some i'm assuming hakeem some saber uh i actually don't know i wonder if um i could get the top eight bracket up on my phone maybe and i can tell you guys what's gonna happen oh what's up gloves Choose your character. All right. So, in the meantime, guys, we're going to watch. Uh, so, Serb on uh, Twitter or whatever garbage he posts on uh, said that he was doing uh, all star random money matches. And um, he didn't realize that uh, this is what Joe gets up in the morning for is all star random fucking money matches. So, all right, let's see what happens. Oh my god, wow, this is so busted. Joe already using god tier RNG to speedrun the set by getting Fox right out of the gate. Although, what's honestly garbage, oh my god. So what's garbage about Serb in the money in the all-star random is that if he if he truly gets ice climbers, it's it's scary. Wait, what the hell? Why did he Wait, how did you lose Mario? I'm so confused. I wasn't looking. So I think he pressed a button, and like it just skipped that character. Like he just didn't want Mario that bad. Oh, interesting. Holler, 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 holler. So I, I hear we got an all-star random money match. We do have an all-star random money match in the building. I love to see it. Yes, now, Joe St is a man of many characters. He's a man of many faces. Um, he's a jack of all trades, master of all of them. Um, and it's very annoying. Three, Sounds like it's gonna be rad in this. One, all right, go. Huff versus Zelda. Okay, Huff versus Zelda. Wow, look at that. A, a, a character Zelda can kill at 30. Man, I'll be real with you. I forgot Puff was even in this game. Hell yeah. That's because Puff literally does nothing different. Well, everyone else is better. Uh, speaking of, uh, well, goodbye, Puff. That Puff was at like 20 and almost died from across the stage. Just oh missed God. one re one rest. No more I'm, character. I'm just trying to find the freaking top eight bracket. Who top eight already, huh? Uh, yeah, I think Pools is over. 
Because it just pulls in the top eight. Oh my god, it's gonna be me and Wombat. Oh yeah, roll out! I don't wanna play Wombat. Oh, I don't wanna play Wombat. Oh well. Alright. Yeah, so guys, just so you guys know, top eight's gonna be Astastic, Joe, ST, Serb, Dom, Saber, Muldrifter, Wombat, and me. Wow. Should be a good top eight. I hope you guys are excited for it. I wanna see that rollout again, because it almost killed. Oh, oh yeah. Here it is. The rollout. Come power, on. Power shield it. You won't do it. Power shield it. You won't do it. Oh my god. I would have laughed so hard if Zelda got hit by that. Oh, well. Oh, the, um, drip. <laughs> 20. Oh. All right, all right. Ready? So, let's, right now, last character. The last character Serb is going to get, I predict, is going to be Snake. I'm going to say Mario. Okay. Perfect. And then for, and then for Joe. Uh... I think he's gonna get Wario. Uh, Link. Snake, Snake Wario. Okay. Mario okay. Link. Mario Link. Snake Wario versus Mario Link. That's gonna be that. Those are the the two predictions. Oh my God, dude! Joe absolutely slapped the shit out of her boy. That is a beyond dead Alamar. But you know, Mar Marth, from what I hear, very good character. And guys, once again, this is a ten thousand dollar All Star Random Money Match Servants Challenge Joe SC for. Ooh, good grab. Oh my god, he thundercast him. He's actually a P-plus player. No melee player would have a, the audacity to do that. That move's not even real in melee. It's not. Even when you tip her, it's like nothing. Yeah. The hitbox is a needle in a haystack. Yeah. It's fucking stupid. Ooh. Some tricky oh like movement. Oh. Kind of getting schmixed here. Dude, he is eking on him right now. Oh, for a second I thought that killed. Oh my god. <laughs> he turned around up smash. On, oh my god. All right. Oh, well. well. Yeah, Joe's trying to flex right now. Yo, uh, Marth Ditto? Yo, Marth Ditto? Oh my god. Here it is. Damn. Thank god he has his tag on it. Oh my god. Serb right now is actually making a comeback in this first match. Who does uh, Serb normally play? Ice Climbers. Wow. He's an Icy man. I mean, he's actually got a lot of nasty characters because he has kind of like backup characters in case. Oh, so it's Ness. Ness, wow. Shout out to Kumatora who's not here. Oh, uh, yeah. We do got Hakeem though. But do we really? You notice like the graphical glitches oh my that God. you saw on the stage when Ness yeah. was pummeling? Yeah, that, that's an all-star random glitch. Oh yeah. Yeah, it was for whatever reason the stock and the percent move over. They like go really ajar after the first stock. That's wild. Really random, yeah. Kirby versus Mewtwo. Oh, now Joe gets the Mewtwo on, on uh, Battlefield. Will he also just drift off and die? <laughs> it happens. But uh, Kirby looking pretty nice here. Kirby, you know, honestly, not a bad character to get random. Very fundamentally simple, like, pretty easy to pick up and play. Yeah. Uh, but a garbage character, nonetheless. True. No one should ever play. Yeah. Uh, our stream manager's giving me the death eyes over the monitor, but I'm going to ignore him <laughs> like I ignore all other Kirby mains. <laughs> Working out pretty good. Uh, Kirby not known for the extensive kill options. I say that as and the hammer comes Kirby's out. kill option comes out too oh. late. Joe getting some tank on here. Some yeah. action. I I can't even begin to tell you how much I hate the phrase tank. Tank? Yeah, almost as much as I hate the phrase Pythra in Ultimate. Oh, Pythra, that's a that good one. That one, for me like especially, just stinks. Pythra. Oh my god, yeah. I'm a Pythra main. I'll, I'll I love take, that. I'm, I'm, the, I'm the, I'll just call them Pyramithra guy. I'll take Aegis. That one's inoffensive. But Pythra, I have no respect. I like Pythra. Pythra's I hate that. Sick. I, I think tank, tank is good too. Uh, tank sounds not right. Two in the pink, one in the tank. Ooh. <laughs> you know, it's a real Terry Bogard quote from like the 90s. Oh my god. Yeah. Whoa. No, actually, the real quote is Wubba Wubba, I'm in the pink today, boy. Wow. Jesus That's when the, the localization teams were made of like four people that didn't speak English. Wait, <laughs> commentator, how do you feel about the word noobs for Nair Loops with bad, Sora? Bad, noobs, bad. I, noobs is a top tier. Raise top Smash. tier question for a top tier term. Noobs. Mac players should not be allowed to name things. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm with Lucas. I'm officially, my magnet Nair is going to be a noob. PK noob. PK I'm just going to just gonna move, move yeah. away a little We're, bit. I'm going to PK noob all over people. It's gonna be great. Dude, that, oh man, that sounds amazing. It's it's so cringe. All right, and Serb, Serb getting she. He, he, oh, Yoshi. That's a, that's the kind of character I want to see people get. Like the who plays this character characters. Yeah. Just like oh shit. And then just all of a sudden just doing something with them. 
Oh, that's the sickest shit. Yeah, when that's the like, sickest shit, yeah. Like, there's no way this person would know how to play Yoshi and then they like Yoshi a, shit. They like armor and air and it works. Yeah. Or they like egg snipe somehow. Ooh. Ooh. Looking like a home run bag. Yo, Look Samus? Oh, uh, yeah, ice oh, mode? Oh, ice Samus. That's, that's my shit. That's my main right there. Ice Samus? Hell yeah. You and only one other person in the world plays Ice Samus. Light Bright. I'd love to see it. Light Bright the homie. AD coined the term Nuck for characters that enlarge their heads when they do a attack like Ness up air. That's so funny. The Nuck. Oh, uh, I hate that. I hate that so much. Uh, dude, do you fuck with the Nuck? <laughs> At least it's spelled like K-N-U-C-K, not N-U-C-K. Yeah, oh. oh, that'd be gross. That'd be nasty. Is the Samus model glitch? What is the shell? What's the, the cell shading? Uh, it's a great question. Um, oh, yeah. Anyways, got sniped. Do another forward air. Oh, speaking of knuck, Joe's with uh, the knuck all over the situation. Oh. It's so cursed. Look, he just did it. He just knucked it's, him up high. It's so <laughs> cursed. <laughs> Just when you think people couldn't think of oh my more God. terrible names for shit, they do. If Joe up airs, Joe, oh, Joe has to kill him with an up air. Just, just for the nuck, the nuck kill. He's not even using his knuckles for that. Yeah. Oh. Does knuckles Dude. have a kill throw? Uh, he does. He back, back through e haws him. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, Surf switched to fire uh, Samus. Cringe. Dude, it's heat. But knuckles is red, which means he resists fire. You guys know that all Gen 1 starters are turtles? What? So confused. What? Yeah, Ch oh. Charizard's my favorite turtle. You want another good turtle? Mewtwo. Yo, turtle, great Mewtwo. Think of all those turtles. I can literally. Oh, right. Like well, turtle. Knuckles apparently can't kill. Confirmed. 186 on the Samus. Stall. Stall. Run the timer. I never thought I'd see all eight minutes go by in an all-star random match. Stall. Hit him with a Justin Wong. Aww. Oh my god, Yoshi again. Another Yoshi. Stall again. You have the you have the percent lead. Oh my god. Blame it out. He's knocking all over him. <laughs> Every day is a struggle, dude. Oh, gets the fair. Oh the down tilt. Oh my Ooh, god. One whoa, knock. The, oh my god. Crazy there. Dude, he's about to knock all over him. Oh he I, fares. I, re I refuse to take part in this. Oh my god. Yo, kill him with the egg though. That's even better than- I mean, that, that killed? Holy shit. He's on 150. Crazy. Oh, that was ridiculous. All right. Uh, Joe ST up 2-0 in this all-star random match. Falcon Luigi. All right. Oh, Wave Dash down smash the musical. Yeah. There it is. If you don't know how to play Luigi, that's what you do. Got a little oh, something going. Dude, the Wombos. Man, I miss 6 a.m. Ray's going crazy right now with some... Yo, dash it! Weird analogies to turtles and the starters. I don't think I like the term soft turtle. I'll be real here. Dude, soft turtle. The that soft trail wrong. turtle. Dude, fleshy turtle. Ooh, that's... that's yeah, that's worse. That's, <laughs> that's way worse. <laughs> Yo, Luigi hit him with that dude, shenanigans. Dude, so if Knuckles kills Charizard, he knocks all over that <laughs> flesh turtle. Agony. <laughs> Suffering. Pain. That sounds so gross. Oh They're my god. Gross. This Luigi's Yuck, going Ray's wild. cringe. They are nobody. Oh my oh, god, he charged it for four that. years and it hit. i love to see it. Oh, you oh know he's goodness, looking dude. for the misfire kill, too. Oh, it kills? What? Dude, this is hot garbage in a can. How did he do that? That was some sussy DI. That was crazy, dude. Among Us and VR DI. Sus as shit. Oh, Among Us VR is going to be so cursed. It's going to be big cursed. It's People are going to do horrible things. Yo, dude, Joe SC's oh, Luigi's kind of sick, though. Dude, Joe SC's Luigi right now is rat monster level. Oh, he nares him. The and demon Knuckles has been defeated. Bears. Oh wow, steals his mane right out from under him. Dude, Joe, chain grab him. Show him how it feels. Oh, for a second, I thought Nana was already going to die. 
so that, poem. that would be classic ICs. So, so poem. Oh my god, Yoshi wow. Again. This is a cringe matchup. This is horrible right now for Yoshi. This is in fact not base Project M. Oh, going for the grab. Oh, you gotta down smash. Just down yeah. smash as much as possible. Yeah, that's, that's the Icy's matchup right once there. You're, once you're desynced, you down smash more than Peach. True. Oh, come on, grab. Oh. Uh, Joe Seed might not have these. Ooh. Wow, that up tilt was beautiful. Yeah, completely sniping Yoshi out of the air. Great down smash. Gets the kill. Gets a 3-0. A swift 3-0 for the all-star random god that is... Joe ST. I can't believe they did a ten thousand dollar money match. And after fifteen thousand dollars going to Joe ST, I don't know how Serb's gonna recover from this twenty five thousand dollar deficit. Uh, you know the IRS might have to step in. Yeah, they might have to step in. Yeah, imagine going to like federal prison for losing a money match. Dude, imagine Venmoing forty two thousand dollars to somebody right now. Crazy. That happened in a. There was a Marvel two money match for, with Justin Wong. Justin Wong. It was a birthday fifteen. He. It was. It was. It was ten five in his favor. Oh my god. Jeez. Yo, what's good, DLX? What up? What up? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. You can only move 2k per transaction. That's why Serb's sitting in front of the setup for so long. He had to do it 50 times for $100,000. Crazy money match, guys. You heard it. You saw it here first, a hug. Joe making six figures off Serb. All right, guys. Bring the paper in. Uh, we are almost going to our top eight for singles. We are just shuffling around the cards, um, and we'll be going right into it soon. So please hang in there. Got some amateur brackets going as well. Anyone that was not made in the top eight is going to be an amateurs. I would be rooting for my boy Pattern. Pattern of Shades Mar from New York. The Lucas God is going to win it. I already know it. I'm not sure who's in the am amateur bracket, but that sounds like a good bet. Homie Patterns, wouldn't it? Patterns going to be Koshi. Yeah, Patterns would be Koshi. I didn't know Bokoshi was in the amateur bracket. He is. Let's go, Patterns! Lucas! Lucas! <laughs> My god, ridiculous. Got, got, got him at the home. I uh, repped the home, I mean. Gotta rep the main. Yeah. The coolest character in this goddamn game. Lucas is pretty cool. Lucas is sick looking. Lucas just does cool shit. Yo, that'd be nuts. That'd be Ooh. so funny. Let's just make that promise. Let's just force Trinity to make that promise. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right now. Dude. Right, so we're gonna have Pattern versus uh, Brick Boozda, um, Eric Boozda uh, off stage. So Brick. We got Mikoshi and Dash playing, Pineapple Tommy and Aqua Shard playing, uh, some other people. Artie, Artie's got a buy. Or actually, Artie's, Artie could easily win it. Artie or Pattern? I want Artie Pattern Grand Finals. That's what I want. Let's go, Pattern! Alright, so Amy's just starting. I think we're gonna see top eight, or we're gonna just do top eight. Yeah. Alright, top eight. I fucking hate playing Squirtle. Oh, of course I'm not. I, I know I am. All right. Frickin'. Oh, I don't play Wombat. Let's go, Pattern. Let's go. Is it gonna be uh, streamed? No, because it's going to be tight. We're going to do winner's quarters on stream. Okay. But Pattern still should win grand finals. I want him to. And everyone here should read the Stormlight Archives, where Pattern's name comes from. Fantastic oh, wow. book series. 
it was so it's so funny i met pattern on the p plus discord and i only i like freak i like geeked out to him like not even wanted to play friendly so i was like oh my god dude your name is amazing i can't believe like that's your name um and and then we we were like started playing and i didn't realize that he plays lucas and i was like oh my god you play lucas too this is so cool and i like put in my tag and he's like holy shit are you shadowhawk and i was like yeah and he's like dude i've seen you before it was so funny Lucas means communicating to each other. They do. I, I just popped off more for the fact that somebody knew what Stormlight Archives was. It was awesome. Brandon Sanderson. Yes. Dude, I, a Brandon Sanderson Fanderson. That's me. Oh, yeah? Yeah. The big Brando Sando Fando. Be real with you, I have no idea what any of this is. Oh, he's just the author of those books. Okay. He, like, it's, like, it, it's actually nutty. So he, he finished the book series The Wheel of Time when the original author died, which is, like, one of, like, the big fantasy book series in the world. Okay. Very, like it's just like a very very big one uh, but he also writes literally he pretty much has made the mcu of fantasy books it's crazy he, he's made like an entire universe where like he has different book series that are different planets that are all technically within the same world it's like nuts like there's so many things and the dude writes like a book a year it's crazy he's Jesus. like 17 different freaking stories that he's doing and he writes a book a year it's absolutely mind-blowing it's like the diary dude, of wimpy kid, Ar dude, wimpy kid arthur he just it's, pumps shit out dude it's insane but he does like but he pumps out like 650 page like hardcore fantasy books wow some people have just the knack for it you know wait one more time some people just have like the knack for it you know knack for writing okay yeah cool sounds good thanks bud oh you're talking to yeah, my, my, my bad times. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's fine. I, I I did not hear Tom at all. I'm so sorry. That was funny. I'm just I, looking over you. I naturally funny. ignore Dom because Dom is cringe. Ooh, I'm actually going to... Oh, I'll do the paper fireworks. I love those. All right. It's time. I forgot you could tilt the screen back back in the day. You could tilt the character select screen. Remember what they took from you. Oh, I'm sorry. Welcome back. Sorry for Falcon forward airing you. Yeah, yeah, I got sent off stage, hit by the sweet yeah. spot. I'll never recover. You'll never recover. Just kidding, I play Samus. I'll yeah, always I recover. always, re yeah, you'll always recover. Just right. kidding again, I'm bad at this game. So we're gonna have Moldrifter Saber on stream. What's Ooh. the next NYC local? If anyone knows, it should be Thursdays, I believe. Cream of the crop is Thursdays. Um, Mr. or slash Mrs. B notes. Is uh, Saber going to be uh, playing Kirby again? Oh hell yeah! Oh, oh no! Hell no! Who's uh who's Saber gonna be playing? No, Kirby's gonna play Saber. I mean, Saber's gonna play Kirby, but it's not a hell yeah. It's a hell no. Oh. Because Kirby's grody. Nah, man. Kir Kirby's my special one. I love Kirby. No. Kirby grody. Kir Kirby's rad. Kirby's games are rad. Kirby's lore is extra rad. Speaking of extra rad, here we have Saber, the homie, taking his seat. The only person who remembered the memo about the ugly sweater. So, he wins by default. Does this count? It's not a sweater. It is pretty ugly, though. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I paid money for the shirt. It's like Final Fantasy VI shirt. Is it six? It's Kefka. Oh, holy crap. I yes. didn't notice that. Wow. It's got, it's got a little version of all the cast I'm members, ashamed. too. Actually, that shirt is now amazing. This is the only Final Fantasy game I played. I'm so ashamed of myself that I did not notice Kefka. Kirby. This is the only Final Fantasy game I've ever played. Really? Yeah. You don't play 9? No. Play 9. I own 9, but I, I haven't played it. I've been replaying 9 recently. So good. So That's good. what I hear. I've, I've always been more of an FMT guy, you know? There's my JRPG of choice. I am 
really want to get the new one. I want to try yeah, it. Yeah, I beat it. It was really good. 30 out? I thought it was out next month. Came out like two weeks ago. I, I, oh. cur I, cur I have a tendency to, to go hard on JRPGs and curve stop them into oblivion. I beat the final boss of Persona 5 Royal in one hit. Nice. Oh my god. Wait. What? Did you, um... You madman! <laughs> I beat the penultimate boss of SMT3 in two turns. I sequence broke the boss of Xenoblade 2. I, I, I don't play JRPGs like a normal person. Have you ever played Breath of Fire? Uh, I, I recently... So, you know how uh, Sony was gonna shut down the PS3 store? I got Breath of Fire uh, 4 on the PS3 market in, in like a attempt to make it like a, a digital lifeboat yep. for all those games. But yeah. I'm busy like replaying uh, Xenogears, which is rad. Uh, I want to replay. <laughs> oh my god, Mole Drifter. <laughs> <laughs> the game fucking froze. Let's go. <laughs> the universe just does not want this set to happen. <laughs> no, no. DGD Kirby, that's a canon matchup. That's based. <laughs> yeah, I'm in the middle of play replaying Xenogears, and the next JRPG I'm probably going to replay is... Well, not replay, but I'm either going to play Valkyrie Profile or uh, Breath of Fire 4. <clears throat> or I might just fuck it, say fuck it, replay Nocturne again. I tried to emulate that game. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and unfortunately, getting a physical version is way easier than sa said than done. And I own some, like, not very common PS1 games. Like, I, I own fucking Valkyrie Profile, which is expensive as fuck. Uh, no, those are super expensive. I also don't have a, have a Saturn. Choose your character. That's awesome. Kirby. Yeah, those those simple situations are the best. What? Go. Yes, he's moistening up indeed. Sorry. I've consumed my chocolate for the day. Yeah. All right, we're getting into it. Winners quarterfinals, guys. The first match of top eight for home for the Hagadays. This is going to be rad. Yeah. Saber vs. Drifter. this is indeed a canonical match of Kirby characters. Both these characters are kind of low on the tier list, too. They are. This is a low tier slugfest right now. Now... I'm curious to see, I think Dedede actually has some decent stuff against Kirby. I might be wrong though, but I feel like that giant hammer is actually going to keep Kirby out pretty well. Yeah, Kirby lacking in range historically, and th this is no different. But Oh, nice drift back from Moldrifter to make it back to safe safely there. Oh, and he gets the inhale with the armor. Oh, and he tries to just forward air, but it does not work. Yeah. So, you know, like I was saying before, no, Moltrifter is actually, I think, really good at getting inhale. He's known for getting a lot of inhales, but he always seems to go for the same confirm off of that inhale. Like, I like that better. He was waiting, kind of playing more patient. Um, because a lot of people are just expecting him to jump fair right after, and you, can, you can't counter that like Corey did earlier. He just instantly downbeat because he knew it was coming. Yeah. It's pretty even so far, even for yeah. sets. Oh, like, the they're both kind of... 
one good hit away from taking the lead. Yeah. Oh my god. Corey being everybody's eight-year-old little brother and down being repeatedly in the same jump. The Chad Strat. The Chad Strat. Bull Drifter into the quick taunt cancel. Only 5% separates him. Yeah. Very close match right now. Yeah. I didn't... Kirby can, like, oh, good sort hell. of low profile the Wallabies. Bull Drifter is so good using that bear to just, like, space out and keep Kirby, like, at bay. So once Kirby gets in, this happens. Yeah, really scary. Great yeah. inhale again. There we go. I like that. Saber did that quick instant air dodge, and that's what Bull Drifter waited for and got a fair off of it instead. So that was yeah. a much better, much better mix up on the inhale. Bull Drifter trying to get some sort of space control going on. He's so close. Oh, wow. But the wow, the reverse backwards. hit fair. The normal hit fair. The, uh, Saber in a bad spot, although Bulldrifter unfortunately lets him get back to stage and get shield off. Yeah. Saber uh, take, starting to take control of the pace of the match a little bit. The patience from Saber right now, I liked it. He was not getting antsy. He knows this is going to be a mountain to climb against King Unity. Bulldrifter is a pretty, pretty patient player as well. I, uh, I played a decent amount of rivals against him now. Uh, another game that he's actually insanely, insanely good at. He's very good at um, at playing that like kind of like very deliberate, not necessarily slow, but good defensive play style. Yeah, it's it's working out for him too. Yeah, right now, and this is the scary thing against somebody like Moldrifter, is once you're down against him, great back air from Corey, keeping yeah. it even. Moldrifter, if, if he got away with it, he could start really getting a big lead from that, but right now, this is uh, as even as it's going to be. Oh my Ooh, god, he almost, almost air dodges into almost it. Almost air dodge into it. Very, very nice movement from Moldrifter with the, uh, the glide tossing. I believe that's what it is. Unless DD means up a different name no, for that. So that, it's called a waddle dash. Because, oh, um, yeah, because when you side B, if you air dodge through a Waddle D, I believe, that's what that is. He catches it and just throws it and goes and launches farther. Oh, wow. That's yeah. actually really interesting. Yeah, it's really. So, yeah, that that there, it's called, I believe, I believe it's an air dodge. I don't think he's side being there. I think he's air dodging. Um, it's like an insane offensive wave dash. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. It's a little unfortunate because Kirby actually can low profile some of those moments. Um, but it is what it is. Oh, great Ooh, fair. Call out. All right, and Bull Drifter up the first stock right now, or the up the first game right now on this last stock for Corey. It's just really funny watching him throw the the, the Gordo at the Wild D and the Wild D just getting flung straight upward, never to yeah. come down. Yeah, so because Waddle Ds have zero weight at all. Like, so any Ooh. hit sends them incredibly far. That's um, so funny. Yeah. So like the nice thing for like Lucas for example is that my magnet instantly eats them up so far away. Like off stage on Dreamland no matter what. It's crazy. That's so funny, but also so rough for DDD. It is. As if I didn't hit him enough already, like he doesn't even get his own gimmicks against me. But he does certainly get him against Kirby here. Yeah, Kirby, uh, not known for his oh. various approach oh. options. That was the Waddle D or whatever the other one is with the all the lightning? It's called the Waddle Dew, actually. Oh, okay, gotcha. I, I never know. Oh, Kirby is just Ooh. airing off with the backers. He tries to finish Try it with the hammer. His... Oh my god! Wow, there was almost some shield pressure from Moldrifter's Waddle. That would have been crazy. Yeah, very good situ situational awareness from uh, Saber. Yeah, to capitalize still off of that crazy. Oh my god, the down B, the forward air. This is so close right now. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, and the up air. Oh, but he just barely it. killing. Wow, what a close game for game one. Great stuff to Saber. That's, a, his that's own. a good sign for the set. Now, I personally, I think that entire set, I think Moldrifter was winning a lot more often than Saber was. I think, like, Saber just got a lot of really lucky exchanges right after Moldrifter was up the stock. So his lead that he was getting didn't really go anywhere. Yeah. But, like, I think overall, it could easily change. Like, I think the next game, if Mold just gets maybe even 50% before losing it and going back to even stocks, that's what's going to happen. I think I think Mold can easily take a game from that. Yeah, like... It like, based on that first match especially, this easily looks like it could go in anyone's favor. Most definitely. Let's see what stage we're going to next. That was the, the soundtrack for this build. 
So good. Do I do it, it very good. Hakim, Hakim, Dom, everyone that voted did a great job with the music here. Yeah. I think super good bands from Corey. I think getting rid of the biggest stage like that and then getting rid of Green Hill is a really comfort stage for Mole Drifter. FD makes perfect sense. Oh my god, we have another crash, guys. This set will never go on. Joe is laughing at an insane tone because he's just so tired of this shit. He just thinks it's funny at this point. Has this been happening all day, or is this just a Mole Drifter thing? I think this is just... I think Mole Drifter so, is just so powerful. He can't help but crash the setup. My reasoning for putting this set on stream was because I like the longer ones on stream, so we don't just have empty gaps of nothing happening on stream, right? And yep. well, now the game has crashed twice in this one set, further extending. And we've had one game. We've had one game so far. <laughs> that, that went down to 2 minutes and 20 seconds into a crash. Sorry, a crash into a game that was 2 minutes and 20 seconds That's into a, a crash. Combo. That's a true combo. That's one way to steal literally parts of my life and existence away. Yeah, I'll never get this time of my life back. I'll, I'll never get those six minutes back, or five and a half minutes back. I could be playing any video game right now, or doing anything with my time. Instead, I'm... Diddy call. Corey makes a very good point. He thinks it's probably the custom skins. We'll see now. <laughs> Kirby. All right, we're sticking with the skins. All right, FD and Crash. Three. Nope. All okay. right, we're going into it. We All right. We won the coin flip. Game two. That's the first step of the speed run. Is the RNG of the game loads. Well, dude, we're right off the bat. Yeah, FD, great stage for Bull Drifter. Having these random waddles out now, he just has these like little extra burst options. Um, Another one, wow. Oh yeah. yeah. I think it's like, I think it's like 60, 40, or 60, uh, 60, 30, 10, or something like that on the percentage for the like normal waddle, the lightning one, or the Gordo. I could be wrong on that. It might actually be a lot more skewed, but I think it's 60, 30, 10. Interesting choice to go to FD here. Uh, I think this is pretty good for Kirby. Kirby's got obviously a, a bit of a stronger combo game. I think, I think FD is really good for Bull Drifter because he can, he actually gets so much off of not having platforms. Um, in terms of he can really play it at whatever pace he wants. And if you force Kirby to chase, that's not what Kirby wants to do. Oh, that is true. So, I, I think. Like, since there's no plats, Mole can use all of his jumps sometimes to stall in the right ways. Granted, Kirby can chase um, in the air with the other jumps, but I can see this working out pretty well. For I guess for both sides. You are right, though. It, it's a pretty good stage for Kirby. Ooh, almost. Oh, to he take tried to top. challenge it with the up air. Ooh, good forward air. Not going to quite take it, not from that side of the stage, but looking pretty good for Saber so far. I should hang on to this stock and get a good bit of percent on it. Ooh, the good confirm. Great though. order. <laughs> oh, that never not gets me. It sends the wild to space. Yeah, it's so funny. Oh my god, see, dude, 7%, extra 7 right now. It's one of the frustrating things about this matchup is that you have to, you know, kind of like the Pikmin thing, where you have to, you know, devote some brain power and time to getting rid of Pikmin when they're on you. You have to concern yourself with the waddles. Yeah. If you just let him throw a bunch out, it's not going to be good by the end of it. He's getting so much mileage out of that downbeat. Ooh, good. Unfortunate. Voltrips are down one solid stock in this game, too. We're going to see what he can do back. Oh, the double nair, the triple nair, up air, great string. That's a good start. Oh, he tries to inhale, but he, he unfortunately B reverses his inhale, which is not what you want. Gets a bit of a train grab on there. Too. Great forward air. Called him out instantly with that. It was nice too because Corey was kind of forced to DI that poorly because he had to he had to stick with the horizontal cutter. He couldn't go vertical and DI. Um, otherwise, he would have just died if the if the cutter went off anyways. Very good play from Ogre. Yeah. And aside from Kim, DV still has quite a bit of percent left in him, so this isn't too bad of a, a, a deficit. He said uh, Saber is just on him right now. Yeah, hopefully uh, Bull Drifter can get just a little bit more 
before he loses his stock. Because yeah. right now it's going to be a whole stock deficit, which is scary. Wow, that down beat wow. confirmed. That's crazy. All right. Now, now this is a lead. Saber taking a pretty confident lead in this game, too. All right, I actually have to go play Wombat, so I will talk to you guys later. Good luck. Don't forget your mask. All right. Game's starting to slip away from Ultra Drifter, but ooh, that down smash is a good start. Uh-oh. Uh, did it quite a bit of damage to Kirby's shield, but uh, he does not like being offstage against a character like this. Ultra's actually been getting pretty smart of adapting to the uh, use of that downbeat here. Doing a good job avoiding it. Ooh! Saber going for the uh, classic um, neutral beat walk off. This is going to be a, quite a hard comeback to make, but it's definitely possible. But, uh, ooh! <laughs> yeah. Tried to go for something cheeky there, didn't work out. Saber going up 2 0. Oh. One more, and uh, that'll be it. He'll be advancing in the winner's bracket. But I believe Moltrister has it in him to uh, even things up. Three, two, one, go. Going to WarioWare. Oh, yeah, I, I think this is uh, pretty good. And yeah, and the game didn't crash. We'd love to see it. Ooh, a dash attack. That might have been by accident, but it worked out pretty well for him. But I, I do like the stage for DV, though. Uh, Platforms, you make it easier to navigate the waddles, but uh, those forward airs are going to kill a lot sooner. Especially on a character like Kirby. Ooh, good call it with a forward smash. The double-edged sword to small stages being that uh, Kirby can also kill much earlier. You saw there. Good spot dodge in the down tilt. Not getting anything off it, but uh, as I say that, uh, Kirby takes neutral back. Oh, good punish on the neutral beam. A bit of a silly interaction with the attach attack. Ooh, no tech. That's going to put Saber in quite a bad position. Yep, that's going to be it. 52%, that's like... Honestly, like, barely anything for DDD, especially when he gets that. Ooh. That's actually a... Wow, that killed. I was gonna say, that's a pretty smart use of the downbeat from Saber. Worst case scenario, like, it misses, but you're safe. But the best case scenario, that that would hit DDD and kill him. And Saber getting another, like, defined lead here. Get anything off the grab. Saber getting quite a bit of extra credit here. Solidifying the lead. Ooh, good, barely avoiding the, the neutral B. This is still a rough spot for Mobile Drifter. I like this. Uh, just slowing things down, taking time to get composed. Very smart from Moltrifter. Ooh, as I say that though, commentator's curse holds onto the ledge a bit too long. Saber's just getting so much mileage out of that downbeat. He's having such an easy time land landing against CED because of it. Ooh. Saber taking it 3-0, very commanding last game too. Sending a message with that last stock.
What's up? Howdy. Hello, everybody. Boys and ghouls. That Mulchifter in the building. Yes, the Mulchifter on the commentary couch. About to commentate. Ices versus Mario. Oh, man, those, uh... Oh, those Ices. I, I, I've only seen this character play in this game, like, one other time. I think that was, like, the monthly back in September. Oh, uh, Blacklisted, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you saw a Tech Boy, you saw a Serb, you might have saw Fresh. One of well, them. All three of them were. They were tearing it up. But we're going to get right into it now. Uh, so, Hakeem usually avoiding using Mario must have a really... Mets must have a bad match against Ice Climbers in that regard. Uh, I can kind of see it. Uh, yeah. I can kind of see why he's going Mario too. The down smash especially. Uh, seems like it would be good again to get in this matchup. Yeah. He's doing a good job centering the Ice Climbers. Make sure they don't do any of their famous shenanigans. Yeah, you got to really watch out for the grab, obviously, as I say that. Yep, um, keeping it uh, very even, Hakim trying to go in, seeing what he can do to separate those Ice Climbers. It's a nice down smash to reclaim center stage, but doesn't really follow up super well. Sir doing a good job of, uh, oh, I was going to say doing a good job of keeping the Nana close by, but... Uh, the Banana Nana. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, gets him with a decisive down smash at the nice percent. Let's go, Serb. So if Serb wins this, by the way, we are going to see an upset. Yeah. But Nana is off the table for this stock, at least. So this is Hakeem's uh, chance to at least even this out a little bit. Mm -hmm. But, you know, nice climbers mains, you know, like, they, they got to have a, a nice Sopo. That's how you get far. Yes. Without so, a Sopo, you are nothing. And look, um, he's getting the, extra credit. Yeah, um, Popo here hasn't taken any damage since he took Hakim's stock. Ooh. Well, now he's dead. Uh, so Hakim, Hakim needs to do something. Ooh, down smash. That isn't what I was thinking about. I I appreciate the hustle. He's doing a really good job not getting grabbed. At Hakim. Yeah, but uh, I don't know. Uh, Ice Climbers have just been like. Winning almost every neutral exchange and yeah. building quite a dominant lead right now. Yeah, I don't know why Hakim isn't playing more patiently. He's just eating those icicles. Ice climbers do have sort of a a mental effect on you. Like, they, they scare you. They're they're, yeah. they're a scary character to fight. Because one grab and it's over. Yeah. Basically. Ooh, this is a chance though. Go down smash. Oh, gets Popo, doesn't get Nana. Gets oh, them both, they're together. That might not be great, but it doesn't matter because Popo is dead, which means that Nana is also dead. And it's, uh, even in socks at least, this is definitely more than doable for Akeem. Ooh, grabs Nana. Good forward air. Again, some, some good hits right here. Yeah, oh, but another down smash is going to take it. That's such a... Classically strong move for the S Climbers. Ooh, ooh, almost getting something fancy with that uh, Nana on the platform. Uh, Sir's been, you know, just playing this really well. Oh, but just like that. Yeah, but he still has Sopo. And Hakim just going to take more damage before Sopo dies, as we can clearly see. Yeah, every, you know, hit of extra credit, especially... Uh, Ooh, that's a dead Sopo. No, or it's not. not. That's an alive Sopo. You are sorely mistaken. I, I, I commentators curse people all the time. Oh, and it saves him. Very good recovery from Serb. Gets him with the empty belay. It's always insane to see like Sopos recover from the weight. Oh, that was a good down smash. This is definitely still a. Uh, Hakeem's definitely not out of it. No, but he is in very, very grave danger. Yeah. Ooh, I was going to say, he can't really live any more of those down smashes. Gotta navigate the wall of uh, icicles. Yes. Or, I guess, mini icebergs. 
Uh-oh. Uh -oh. gang grab, because that's a death sentence. But that's also yeah. a death sentence. Gang grab into the desynchronized up smash. Serb takes game one unexpectedly, but let's see if he could finish it off. Oh, is this a... Uh, is Hakeem uh, seated higher? Yeah, uh, well, he should. I don't see why he wouldn't be. It's true. This could be an upset, if so. We're going to Battlefield. I like this. Uh, more room to play around the Ice Climbers. Yeah. Got a... Everyone's favorite uh, Shonen anime power track. Uh, which which track is this? This is Yusei Run. Uh, at least I'm pretty sure it's Yusei Run. From My Hero uh, Academy. Ooh! So Akeem already showing this set under a very different light. Yeah. Gets the Sopo. I'm... Ooh! I, I don't think he's getting back from there. Oh, uh, look, look at the look in his eyes. The determination. Yeah. This is the Shonen protagonist comeback. Back when the fucking theme song plays. Yep. It's a very uh, good start for Rakeem. Yep. But oh, you can't count nice climbers out of anything. Uh -huh. Four grabs and th this game's done. Ooh, good read. Gets him with the F smash, gets him with the F smash. I like that play. Just do it again. Uh -huh. They won't see it coming. Gets him with the fucking air. Ooh. Ooh. I gave him a fair at the fucking fair. He's been doing great this set. Uh-huh. You know Very that? Very different tone from last game. Yeah. You know, he he might have just been getting warmed up. Maybe he uh he stood at the top of the hand statue. Uh, drops those training weights. Yeah, definitely some good adaptation. And it's like, yeah, not many people face ice climbers all the time, so it yeah. could be a little hard to get used to. Uh huh. No, didn't Connecticut used to have an ice climbers here? I have no idea. So there's an ice climbers. I believe he was ice climbers, but his name was Produce. You know, he was he was, uh, he was a pretty good player. That Produce. It's a good tag. Yeah. I wonder if he calls himself produce because like the ice climber's motivation is to get produce. It's true, they got the eggplant. Uh-huh. The eggplant, uh it's like a carrot. Other other stuff. Lettuce. Yeah. Ooh. Oh wow. Okay. Serb deciding to call it before the obese pigeon coos. Uh, I'm I'm not, I'm never sure how I feel about you know the the forfeiting of the games before they're over. Uh huh. It's, you know it's all, it's always possible to come back. Yeah. Especially a character like Ice Climbers is again like three grabs and. Yeah, but like uh, he wasn't really having an easy time game. He wasn't gonna pull those grabs out of his ass. True. Especially not someone like Akeem. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. But now we're going to Smashville. Oh. Gets a grab, but uh, Nana's nowhere to be found. Uh -huh. the the game's still showing the uh, how good his adaptation is. Mm -hmm. I like that he's starting to play a bit more patient now too. Th just throw some fireballs. Yep. Like, but Serb keeping it even here. Yeah. It's like wh why deal with the ice climbers? As I, as I say that, he's now dealing with the ice climbers. Yeah, but is able to. Oh wow. well, never mind. Uh, Serb did convert off that grab. Wasn't that that janky controller tossing thing? It was uh, it was your it was a conversion off a throw. Yeah. This is guy intended. Ooh, but now now he's down to the sopo. See if he can get any any extra credit here. Never mind. Mm -hmm. So Akeem keeping it even, taking that first stock off the serve of game three. Ooh, good punish. Uh huh. I'll say. Can't go wrong with the forward smash punish most of the time. Just solid damage, uh, re regaining space control. Ooh, yeah. good down smash. So Serb doing a really good job holding down the fort, waiting for the banana to return. Doing great at just isolating the power couple. Uh -huh. Ooh. Gets him with the down smash. Let's see how he recovers from this. Let's see how he recovers <laughs> from this. Ooh, I like the uh, the down B as uh, pulling your way back on stage. Uh-huh. 
Ooh, baiting out the fair. Oh, I saw the down smash. Oh, and I it, it is here. The uh, down smash. Another down smash. Huh? You might as well call this guy Down Smash Abby. <laughs> I got that. I got that reference. Yes. Did you get both the references? There's two of them. The reference and the reference behind the reference. No. So you may have gotten the Smash Bros. reference, Down Smash Abby. The player who murders his rival, Jim Jam Flim Flam, and then disguises himself over the course of the next several years. But Down Smash Abby is uh, some British rich people drama. Uh, Down Smash Abby. Oh, I knew about that. Ah, yes. My mom watches that show all the time. Well, she used to. Anyway, back to the match. Yeah, Smash Brothers. Uh huh. Ooh. Wow. Uh, not getting the downward hit. Battle of Fire and Ice here. Ooh, Ooh, got the playing, playing catch. Almost dead even here. The, the team's got really. This is where you really gotta watch out for the grab from Ices. Yeah, I like this. You know, honestly, just like why approach? Uh huh. Yeah, you can just do your icicles. Oh, Fire because beats ice. you can just. Ooh, that was almost nice. Oh, no, no uh, grab confirmed from the jab. Keem, very good job of not getting in the ice climbers yeah. range. Just tacking on the pressure. Ooh, this what might be are you it. Gonna, oh, he's going to do that. What are you going to do? Ooh, oh, that. yeah, gonna do that's that. a and, dead. And uh, Hakeem takes game three, two, one. Hakeem's flavor. Yeah. What do you think Hakeem's favorite ice cream flavor is? He looked like a cookies and cream kind of guy. That is a very good flavor. Yeah, I mean, I'm only saying that because you know it's the best flavor. Yeah, I can see cookies and cream. Ooh! Uh, that oh. was some ice climbers right there. Hmm. I'm, I'm very sad that that happened. Uh, it was bound to happen at some point. Yeah, I suppose so. But what is just one stock? It's true. Uh, this might be two stocks, actually. <laughs> stocks, they're like, uh... Uh... They're like, uh, they're like a basket full of apples. Uh-oh. So, um... That was a really good jab. With both the stock lead and the percent lead. Really nice... <laughs> really nice and speech. Ooh. And but another another, another this good is like down, down smash. smash city here. I was gonna say like I'd say take a shot every time you get a down you see a down smash, but uh, whoever did that would die. Yeah. That's uh that's alcohol poisoning right there. Uh huh. Ooh, calls out the forward error by smacking him in the face with the mallet. Just getting steamrolled here. Four stocks to one. Three stocks to one. Yeah. What's going on here? Hakeem uh refusing to leave this game kicking and screaming. Ooh, nothing off the grab. Uh-oh. That's a... <laughs> ice climbers. Jesus. Tap dancing, roller skating, ice dancing Christ. That sure was an ice climbers match. That was an epic chungus moment. Uh, wholesome 100? Keanu Reeves, baby. Ah, uh, yeah. Is it, is it about Animal Crossing? The internet has rotted my brain. Cyberpunk? 20? Seven, seven. Did they ever yeah. put that back on console stores? Or did they still take that off the shelves? Dude, I don't fucking know. That was wild. God, what a mess. Yeah. It won award. It won awards before it even got released. That's so funny. Going to fall so flat on its face. Yeah. That's why I think the Indian. That that's that's the way to do. It, honestly, AAA has kind of become a mess. Yeah. Like what a fucked up culture. Yeah. Crunch baby, it's horrible. Uh huh. Anyway, Smash Brothers. Just kind of hucking fire and ice at each other, but yeah. uh, fire fire beats out ice if we're going by Pokemon rules. Yeah, unless this is Gen 1 Pokemon, where fire and ice are actually super effective on each other. Gen 1 is so cursed. Yeah. 
Oh, uh, oh, you woke up. That took it a whole turn. Oh, and that took a whole turn. Yeah, it's suddenly Hakeem swings back in his favor. Ooh, the the fair into the down smash. <laughs> oh, that. Oh, wow. He still does something. And Nana coming in, saving him from the back throw. Ooh. Uh, but not from that fiery forward smash. Yeah, unfortunate. Oh, but nice the back air. air. Doing a taunt, too. Gotta be careful of those. Taunt to get body, still a true combo. Even Super PM. backwards aerial. <laughs> Exquisite. So, Hakeem, a little bit down. Uh, Serve, keeping up the momentum with his yeah. glacier strike. Ooh. Uh -oh. Ooh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. No kill, but a decent amount of percent. Yeah. And that, that, that's all that matters right now, baby. Hakeem yeah. just can't wow. get in. Yeah, uh-oh. Yeah, he even has to come back to the stage to pay attacks. I like that Hakeem puts out a preemptive jab just to snuff their initial recovery so they can't so it can't be grabbed. I'll say. That's a very smart option. He even sometimes gets a well. Alright. So serve in the lead on a fast track to an upset. Yeah. Oh, what was that grab range? What's going on? What's going on here? Hey, what's the big idea? I'm walking here. What's the matter, you? I'm walking here. I mean, yeah, Mario's Italian. Uh, yeah, he's from Brooklyn. Remember, uh, Mario says, if you do drugs, kids, you'll go to hell before you die. <laughs> yep, he actually said that. That That's so good. Yeah. But, but Surf said, fuck you. Fuck your drugs. I'll do all the drugs I want. <laughs> Ooh. But the person will be going to hell. Is you? Yeah, Nana's gonna forward you right off, right, right down in the blast zone, straight to hell. Team's still in this. He's really good at catching the small hammer. Yeah, he's his edge guarding game's honestly been on point, but it's it's so important to win the neutral game on stage. <laughs> yeah, baby, smash that C sick. Wow, wow, so good this game, just spamming forward smash. I know technically, actually, it's spamming forward smash these things, but wow, just spamming forward, just mashing that fucking C stick. Mash harder. <laughs> well done, sir. Well done. I can appreciate a good mash when I see it. Yeah, that was. I've never seen that in my entire life. Shout some LD blood. <laughs> I love mashing. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, so Serb, Serb is looking like he's gonna close it. Hakim has a lot of work to do if he wants to do anything that resembles a victory over Serb. No I decisive. can definitely see it though. Yes, me too. All he needs to do is do whatever the fuck he was doing uh, the other games he won. Yeah, just do that again. Yes. Simply win. It's not even that hard, Hakeem. He mains ice floor. Uh -oh. from purple. Oh. <laughs> Simply just win. Honestly, every time, oh, every grab that well, doesn't kill you is a blessing. Uh, oh, I guess that's that's not it. Hakeem getting another shot at life here. I say that as he gets back aired. And Nana's been saved. He's got quite the icicle mountain to climb. Uh huh. Uh, you Unfortunately, know. the ice climbers are professional climbers, and therefore would most likely be better at climbing than Mario. Ah uh, yes. It would like be like that episode of Cat Dog, where Cat Dog has to climb the mountain, but they're they're up against a professional ice climber. There's only one of them, and there's two of Cat and Dog, and and Cat Dog climbs the ice better because there's two of them. That's a really good reference. You, you remember the episode, right? I, yeah, I watched Cat Dog back in the day. No one's ever nice to Cat Dog. I mean, the mouse is fine. <laughs> the, the mouse is an asshole, though. Uh, true. He's got a funny accent. Uh, sheesh. So it's uh, it's one stock to one. Serb. This is definitely still doable. He knows he has to. Uh, he knows he has to close this out. Yeah. Uh, so we we have an incoming uh, note from B Notes. Uh, so B Notes says, "Let's go, Hakim." Oh well, well, I hate to break it to you, B Notes, but it doesn't look like Hakim's going anywhere except for losers bracket. Good yeah. game, well done, sir. Commentator's curse uh, strikes again. Yep. At the very least, this All is right. very valuable matchup knowledge. All right, I'm gonna play another set. Wish me luck. Good luck.
Hold your turn, ladies and gentlemen. What is up? Got Saber versus Wombat. I've never seen this matchup before. Yeah, I don't think I have either. Um, I feel like, I mean, I mean, I'm not really too sure. I feel like Squirtle has a lot of kill options, or at least like, Kirby's gonna dive pretty easily. And I don't know, and Kirby can probably gimp Squirtle, but like, Squirtle's still Squirtle. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, Squirtle's kill options are probably way more consistent than Kirby's. Going to Smashville again. Or maybe this is a button check, yeah. Yeah, I, I too. I also think this is probably slightly Squirtle favored. I'm always inclined to just believe that Kirby loses every matchup, um, to be honest with you. But same. <laughs> In like every Smash game. Yeah, just across the board. Well, except for 64, I guess. <laughs> yeah, where he's like broken. He's got that giant up tilt. The first sword character. Got the force. Look at the serious look at Wombat, Wombat's face. He's ready to kill someone. Yeah. Now? Oh, good luck. Sorry. Alright, we're gonna ride into game one. Now, from what I've seen with Wombat, Wombat is a very, very fast player. Quite a squirrel specialist, if you will. And it's working out pretty good. Oh, wow. Trying to take him off the top real fast. But, uh, Saber, obviously, not to be trifled with. Winner of the last month, too. Ooh, but very good start from Wombat, though. Yeah, everyone's gotta get hit by the downbeat at least once per game. It's a uh, mandated rule. Ooh, designed to take the copy ability. I'm not sure what Kirby gets from this. Both like fundamentally or what even the ability gets is. Well, I guess I'll never know. Oh, good uh, mash out of pressure. Your saber. Squirtle just kind of sliding around. I, Squirtle's got really, honestly, pretty cool movement on the ground. That's a solid uh, kill confirm from, uh, from Saber. It's pretty even so far. Getting some up tilt strings on. Pretty good uh, string, honestly, getting a slight lead. Ooh, that, uh, yeah, that water's gonna be pretty annoying for Kirby recovering. Ooh, just barely. Uh, this is the uppy. Keeping this pretty even. Some good uh, mid game adaptation coming from Saber. Almost dead even now. Nice dash attack. Uh, down throw not gonna kill, it's gonna put him in a very advantageous position. Nice bear. Ooh. Attacking on some damage with a death track off stage and leading to a kill. See if Kirby can get some any extra credit here. Uh, he's not gonna live very much. I think a, a down throw will probably kill him too. At 15%, that's not nothing. Ooh. 
It's clipped by the uh, up on its way down. Oh, but that the, da the Dacus will take it. Squirtle Dacus, uh, it seems silly. Ooh, but a uh, nice little string from Kirby. Starting to re-maintain his lead. Some shenanigans uh, happen off screen. Ah, oh, jumps right into the side B from Kirby. That's gonna seal. That's gonna solidify his lead even more. Honestly, uh, now a full stock ahead. And 59, not not a ton of damage. As I say that, uh, Wombat gets a nice little strength car carries him off stage a bit. Ooh, good wake up, just avoiding the uh, smash attack. Oh, but that'll take it. Nice down smash. Very impressive stream from Wombat. Uh, ooh, going for a fancy edge guard there. Oh, I'll say I, I say most things from Squirtle are fancy because they all look kind of fancy. Ooh, that might yep just barely off the top. Game one going to Saber. Very very fast paced close game. We're going to the next game. Going to bed. I'm sorry, it's on, it's on my phone. I'm, I'm, I'm a professional commentator. Uh, but anyway, we're, we're, we're back at it. Just took it to Battlefield, and it's uh, Saber uh, getting a bit of a lead here. Ooh. Yeah, he's playing in the zone right now. He seems to have. Uh, seems to be doing pretty well in the Squirtle matchup, honestly. Playing this very smart, very, very. Uh, professionally. Drone, why he's so good? Oh wow, and even on my health field. Up air killing. Now quite a dominant lead here from Saber. Ooh, good, nice grab though. Uh, not gonna quite kill, but uh, puts him in a very good position to take the stock. Definitely not possible for Wombat to come back here. Wombat is definitely a player of uh, that kind of caliber. Come back from anything if he's... Oh! Can't come back from that, though. But honestly, you know, it did take a shock from Kirby to do that. So it's still not impossible for Wombat to come back. Players like this, you can never count out of it. Just like that, Wombat looking pretty nice so far. Ooh, does get clipped by the downbeat though. All right into Kirby's ar uh, stubby little arms, gets the grab. Good crouch cancel on the uh, turtle shell. Ooh, not gonna quite kill, but good grip of damage there. Wombat's so good with using the water gun. Ooh. Hanging on to dear life here. Good grab. Oh, it doesn't get a kill off that, but not a great position here. Ooh! Very smart decision. Just say no to the upbeat and completely beat it out. Saber up 2 0. One, go! 
go into the green hill zone for potentially the last game of the set. See if Wombat uh, can uh, bring it back here. That'd be an interesting stage. Uh, both these characters will have an easier time uh, killing out the side, but uh, both of them seem to be pretty good at killing out the top two. Squirtle especially. Yeah, that's not gonna kill on this stage. Oh, just like that. That's just like I said, he wait, died much earlier on the side. Saber been pretty commanding this set, honestly. Saber making Kirby look really good, but just like that, Wombat evening it up. Interesting, both uh, both these characters being small body characters, both their stuff still seems to work on each other. Oh, good grab. Ooh, gets quite the reward off it too. A good mash out the uh, the grab attempt. Oh, that's a rough spot to be in. Makes it back anywhere. Unfortunate SD, they're putting Wombat in the lead. As I say that, Saber evens it right back up. Not letting the SD get to him at all. It's a Mirko good player. I always say hydrated kids. Ooh, excellent edge guard from Wombat. First time in the uh, set, Wombat looking uh, looking to take this game. It's definitely not going to go easy. Honestly, every trade Wombat gets is, is honestly good for Wombat. That's more extra credit, which makes it easier to seal up the last stock. Unfortunate, uh, though, gets skimped out. Not, don't really want to trade with Squirtle Uppy when you're, when you're recovering. A good grab. Oh, not quite gonna die. Good DI from Saber. Stage pick coming in handy. Oh, it doesn't get the punish on the, uh, on the up smash. Oh, they're just kind of smacking each other and Wombat taking game three. What's going to next? Very good play from Wombat. Dreamland for uh, game four. Good start from Saber. Taking the first stock with barely a percent on him. Looking pretty control this match so far. Ooh, great string. Answering back with a. Uh, some nice stuff from uh, Wombat. Wombat, maybe uh, trying to slow the pace down a little bit. You know, just play the spacing game, uh, a, a game Kirby traditionally struggles with. Unfortunately, a character like Squirrel doesn't really have the luxury of doing that. They, Squirrel also does kind of have to go toe to toe with Kirby. They're both kind of stubby characters, but Squirtle does have the advantage of having the uh, water gun. 
which Wombat uh, seemed to take more use, seemed to make more use of in this matchup, but Saber is still just doing great. Uh, Forwarder not sending in the best direction, but getting a good grip of damage nonetheless. Still, still a two stock lead from this, and he's just making it worse and worse for him. That doesn't kill. Wow. Dream, the big uh, last times for Dreamland, keeping Kirby alive and clipping it with the down B, taking it up three stocks. Are we going to see a four stock? No, uh, definitely not. That down throw is sealing out uh, Saber's first stock. Wombat's got quite a mountain to climb. He wants to make this uh, comeback. Definitely has it in him, but it's way easier said than done, especially against a Kirby of, like Saber's. That string puts uh, Wombat closer and closer to the loser's bracket. Super don't want to be taking trades in this scenario. Not when you're down this far. All these trades being Kirby's favorite too doesn't help. This is looking so hard for Wombat. He would have to. Oh, yep. Yeah. And Saber taking it 3 1. Very impressive showing. But Wombat definitely not out of this yet. Still got loser's bracket. I'll be uh, right back, folks.
Oh yeah, Dom, Dom giving me the eye, he knows. What's up? What's up? I believe these uh these two fought earlier in pools. They did. Um it was last stock, game five. I was and... I was right behind Wombat when he popped off. Oh scared, me too. It scared the shit it scared the shit out of me. Yeah, I was just doing some uh training mode and then he I heard him just scream, let's go and then I like jumped in my seat. It was like oh my god. This but... is sure to be exciting then. Yeah. Um Zelda Squirtle. What a what a matchup. Um, yeah, not you don't see that every day. Well you don't see most Squirtle matchups every day. Yeah. Much less Kirby Squirtle. That was wild. That was wild. I think we're both figuring stuff out. Is, you know, we never run into each other. It looked like it. And um, in terms of Zelda here, I know they made Squirtle a bit bigger, but um, I'm not sure if like Squirtle's height is a problem for Zelda. But I know yeah. at the very least the frame, like the well-timed kicks from Shield, can still hit even Kirby when he's crouching. So. Well, so far it doesn't look like a that big of a problem. Womp, uh, not Wombat. Uh, Dom kind of going wild. Yeah, he is. Wow. Um, yeah, so Dom, like, obviously he wants to stuff out of all of Wombat's approaches. Wombat really needs to learn what he needs to do to mix up to get past those wow. options. That was such a clean stock. Yeah, that was a very dominant stock from Dom. Dominant. Oh, uh, I, I get it, because his, his name's Harold. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I don't... I guess Wombat's playing his usual game. He's poking with a bubble. Fading in and fading out with Water Gun as well to see if he can find an opening. Yeah, he makes very good use of Water Gun. Such an important tool for Squirtle. Yeah. Uh, I'm here not going to kill quite yet. Probably can't live any more of those, though. No, I wouldn't imagine. Um, I think they both like this stage. Because they yeah. both have strong kill options off the top. This is a good stage for a lot of characters. Just, you know, simple, neutral stage. I think there, Dom probably could have acted first because of the Dins on shield, um, but yeah. I think he just hesitated. Ooh. Wow. So, yeah, Wombat there, uh, Dom was using a lot of crouch cancel that first stock, and so Wom knew uh, this time to mix it up with Bubble, which will negate that. Yeah. Ooh, but going to punish that whiffed up B. Very smart punish, too. Drifts under him to uh, catch him with the up air. Um... Wom's keeping it more competitive though. Um, yeah. Definitely more so than the first stock. It just feels like closing out that stock is harder for him. I don't know what confirms he has, or, like what percent rages he wants like uh, to go for the throw DI mix-ups, but oh, he thought about it. That does seem to be Squirtle's biggest weakness is just closing out those stocks. Like Squirtle can rack up damage easy, just as good as most characters, but uh, it's getting those uh, kill confirms that can be challenging. Sure. Uh, pretty even though. Yeah. Almost. Actually, wow. dead even now. Well, never mind. Huh. It's, it's... Oh no. I think he's Ooh. fine. Yeah. Squirtle's recovery surprises me every time of how, just how high it actually goes. Yeah. It's um. It's you can cover it, but it can be tricky because you get poked if you do not space right. Yeah. Especially coming from ultimate, it does not go very high in ultimate. Right there. And suddenly the situation is reversed. Oh no! They're going back and forth. It is dead even. I think Wom just wants to reset here because, like, he does not want to get tagged by any of these straight hits. Yeah. Ooh, and the down smash is going to take it, sending Dom right off the side last zone. Dom now in the lead. Not Dom, uh, Wombat in the lead, in the lead now. I think Wom wasn't calling out the, uh, the Dins before, so I think it's a good idea for him to stay just outside of Zelda's ideal range and bait yeah. out the Dins, and then he just bursts in and punishes. It's working out great for him now. Yeah, total turnaround. Ooh, what in the hell? Not gonna quite kill, but ooh. oh, timing. Oh, gets clipped by the up E too. No edge guard. The down air is so good for calling out the uh, the spot dodge too. What's going on? What was that about? I don't know. Uh, Um, so I'm wondering what the bands are going to be. Um, okay, right off the bat. Mom just wants to live longer. Those are the two logical choices. Yeah. I mean, Dom could always run it back to PS2. Uh, yeah. But I think his raw kill power is less of a concern than it is for uh, Wom. Go to Crystal Cave or whatever the, the fuck this stage is called. <laughs> metal Cavern? Yeah, sure. I don't see any metal. 
That's, just, that's what the crystal is supposed to be. Ooh. Wow. Are you serious? Not not a great trade for Squirtle. That was so smart. He jab reset to protect Chase. Ooh. Gets a double fair. Well, uh, I guess that's the bear. Same move. Same move. The, the funny kick. Cover ledge and refresh. Oh, man. I wonder if Swirtle's better off just like forcing her to land and then going for the throw to throw her back off. Yeah. But uh, just kind of knocking Dom around right now. Not quite getting the kill, but uh, not taking any damage, and that's oh fine. My God. As I say that though, Dom gets a, a quick little string on and a nice din setup. Alright, can Dom keep this lead? Really pressuring at the ledge, it's so sad. Yeah. Even though he knows he just needs to get grabbed once, he'll be dead. Yeah, can't take much more punishment from Squirtle here, but... Or maybe he can, honestly. I don't know, again, Dom is... Or Wom gets uh, clipped by the recovery. Taking him a while to clean out the stock. Yeah. Up, oh, that'll do it. Okay. Um, it's not too bad. Deficit, unless that kills, almost. Not quite, but close. Definitely probably can't let uh, survive any more of those. Dom is uh, very aggressive right now. Yeah, he's Zelda. really turning up. Almost a full stock lead now. I like this, it's just so not what I'm used to seeing with Zelda. Um, yeah. But like he's playing the whole game with Wom in the corner and it is not looking good for Wom. Yeah. Definitely can't get Wom out of it yet though. Oh wow. No, absolutely not. But Wom needs to make the adjustment where he needs to take space back because it's easier to deal with Swirtle's movement options. That whole appeal of him is how how he has like this crazy burst option in mix-ups, right? But if he doesn't have any stage to work with, he's not going to get anything done. Ooh. Oh my god. Really rough game. Now Dom looking pretty dominant this game. Ha uh, ha ha, funny. <laughs> I'm not doing this on purpose. I know, I know. It's also great that we have Dom and Wom. Yeah, how dare they have similar names? How dare they? I'm, I'm, I'm just waiting for, for like, I'm probably just gonna say Dombat before this, uh, this set ends. Okay. It's gonna happen. Ooh. They're both just, Dom is just going right in with the grabs. Yeah, super aggressive, like you said. I think he feels like he can afford to, because in a lot of these trades, he's just flat out winning percent-wise. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Even gets a din set up. No. Oh. oh okay. I think Wom, honestly, maybe he's not comfortable edge guarding Zelda. Um, maybe he's scared after getting clipped by the uppy reappearing hitbox to like commit to holding ledge. Yeah, he's definitely respecting Zelda recovery a lot. Maybe Which more than he needs to, but just like that, he's gained a lead. The SC was very unfortunate for Dom. No. Ooh, this is uh, his kid. chance, though. Well, again, he opts for downer instead of kick. I don't know if kick would have uh, even reached Squirtle, but it was definitely a better option than downer. Ooh, oh, good DI. My God. As hell. This is so close. This is such a good last stop. They're just both keeping right outside of each other's face. Oh Ooh, my god! Good trade for Dom, though. That was upsell, I think, right? Or was that kick? I could not tell. I think that was kick. It was a move that killed. It, it might have been up tilt. It could have been. Doesn't it start behind her? Yeah. Um, maybe. No. I have no idea. Anyways, good stuff to Dom. Really yep. close game. Really close game. Almost, uh, almost flubbed it with that uh, SD, but luckily uh, he was able to still close it out. Yeah. Wom got some breathing room in between that SD and the rest of the game to rack up 1%, which is scary. You just don't want to give him momentum, you know? Absolutely not. Like right now. Wow. 50, 60, 70%. That was a, oh, and just takes All the right, whole stuff. getting clipped. He knows yep. it too, he knows it. Very solid. Look totally. at the look at Dom's face. Look at the sheer determination. Yeah, I mean, the thing is about Zelda, she can just, Good couple neutral wins and long combos, she can bring it right back. Oh Especially yeah. Especially on someone as light as Zelda. Squirtle can like absolutely just like that die from the the funny legs. Yeah. Oh 
no, but he's in a bad position. He doesn't have his jump. Um, and even now, if Dom gets one neutral win, he can get a follow-up with, like, up smash and do an aerial and basically even it up. But, Ooh. he, I got hit by that a lot, too. I don't know what the DI is. I thought out, but he just, yeah. uh, followed up and up smash. Maybe it's... Not sure. Squirtle's up smash is so crazy. It's like the size of like four Squirtles. Ooh, almost gets a good edge guard there. That was a good attempt. I like the teleport in place. Oh, he opted for back throw? Okay. I wonder if I went for back throw there in the middle of the stage, not like forward throw or down throw. Yeah, I'm not sure what he got. You would think like an edge guard, but uh, Squirtle wasn't at the highest percent, but this is a pretty good position. Up throw. That should be an up air. Oh. Ooh, that'll do it though. I'm surprised that Dins either had enough hit stun or Wombat tried to mash an aerial out of it and just got kicked. Yeah. Oh, good, good read on the air dodge. Wombat up a full stock. Yeah, honestly, like, Wombat can afford to, like, just kind of, you know, space out Zelda, play a little slower. Ooh, wow. And, uh, wow. Very a 1% to death. <laughs> um, this has been so crazy back and forth, honestly. Yeah. Um, Wombat made some good adaptations to, like, following through in the edge guards. I wonder what Dom needs to do now. Um, yeah. I wonder what stage you're going to. I think maybe Dom just needs to slow down the pace a bit. Um, start mixing in like retreating aerials to in space and make Wom commit to these options. At a distance where she knows he can punish. Well, that was a little interesting, uh, down, down airing Squirtle Shield. Yeah, Wom got really ballsy there. He just went in with a raw uh, Dacus. Not Dacus, I'm sorry. Raw Bear. God. But Wombat playing very confidently. Good down air. Yeah, now I'll take it. Even on this stage, wow. It must get tough when you can't just like outright CC stuff. Those yeah. Guys. I'm actually escaping the up smash. Well, I'm playing very confident right now. It's riding all the momentum from last game. Not again? Oh my god, another one. Alright, just warming up the hands. Let's see. It. Yeah. He, he's got to remain composed if he wants a chance to win this. I know. I just, um. I'm not the Zelda. And it's just he's going in and like trying to box the bomb. And I feel like that's not the best idea. Yeah, it's not working out for him anymore. Well, okay best kind win. of dominated the up close game. Finding a hard time like answering some of these options and getting like some nice, at least some stray hits. In. Oh, I'm really trying to force a stock there. Oh, man. Yeah. All right. You gotta start with one stock. This is quite the map to climb for Don Lax. Slow it down. I'm sure Wom is gonna keep going in, no matter what. Yeah, honestly, like, still got plenty of time on the clock. Should play way more patient. That's a good start. Okay, up tilt does hit in front of her first. Cashed out. Good Maybe use of wants... the neutral B. To go for up there up air at low percent because it has not been working at like 80 or 90. Yeah. So he Ooh. just missed the ledge. Yeah. Does not want to give Wombat any more breathing room because Wombat will be this. Wow. Just like that. That's the Wombat. Good stuff that Don, but Wombat <laughs> taking it a 3 1, I mean 1 3, I guess. Definitely just turned it up. Yeah, definitely. Damn. Good set nonetheless. I wonder who's up next. I wonder. I'm not sure. For winners or losers? Or... Not who they want to do next. Yeah, it's, it's a smaller monthly today, but it's been fun. Uh, we still got yeah. some good talent. Yep. Well, I'm back coming all the way from New Jersey. Yeah, it's good to see the homies, you know? Absolutely. The monthlies are essentially like the hom the homie cord meetups. I love seeing you guys. Um, it's, it's always fun. Kirby's sick. It's okay. 
I don't know what I'm gonna do against Ice Climbers, but that that is a that certainly is a matchup, maybe. It is a matchup. I I still don't know what's going on. I like, played against Fresh quite a bit, and I got to play against Tech Boy, but I'm still just like, man. Ice Climbers, huh? Yeah, and Sorb's looking good today. He's looking real good. Ice Climbers matches are just straight up just like down smash fests from both sides. Is it? Yeah, because Ice Climbers kind of get messed up by a lot of down smashes, but they also down smash a lot because their down smash is really good. Wow. Okay. It's a classic matchup. These guys play like, you know, probably every thing a lot this season. Both got their custom skins. They're looking good. Interesting to see the bands here. I think Ryan probably wants PS2. Um, yeah, they, oh, they're going to Smash Bros. Okay. Um, I think this is, uh, yeah, this is the most neutral stage for them. They both like the stage a lot. Maybe Hakeem more so. Yeah. And right off the bat, um, they're really just feeling each other out. Which I think it's good. They've had so much experience playing against each other. They know exactly what to look for. Yeah. Like, I feel like if either of these two get like a, a hit on each other, it's easily like 70 to like almost a stock yeah. just from one hit. Oh no. And just like that, here comes the damage. What was unfortunate is that Ryan had a good punish and he burned Hakeem's double jump, but Magnum him back on stage. Yeah. Oh, such good pressure. Both these characters have some cr scary stuff, dude. Um, yeah. Really gotta respect the tools. Oh my Ooh. god. Wow. Excuse me? That was, I, I I don't even know, man. I don't even know what happened there. Uh, nice. but the, the funny big move. Yeah. But the Melty Blood hitbox of, of PM. Oh my god. Call cancel? He's confident? <laughs> the, um, these two are going to style each other so hard. Yeah. Oh, jeez. So Hakeem, really good. He slowly closed the gap on him. Wow. <laughs> Sniped him. Such a good shot, wow. Put the Call of Duty hit marker sound effect on that. Yeah. I didn't even think of that because I think, um, I'm assuming for both the PK kids, they buffed it. So it's not like they can get hit by one hit. It's like a larger damage threshold to break them. But I guess if PK fire bursts on it, that would get the, the job done. Yeah. Oh, oh my wow. God. Speaking of getting the job done, he almost killing Ryan in real life. <laughs> he would never. I don't know, man. Those PK kid players. They love each other. Okay. Um, I, that, that sure is some love. A little bit of unsafe pressure meant Ryan could turn it around and take the stock finally. I think he's struggling a little bit to, again, find that answer. He's getting this low percent, which is really good. Yeah. Ooh, this is damage. Wow. And just like that. So Almost good. Safe. Edge guard situation for both of them. Both these characters edge guard each other pretty well. Yeah, and Hakeem was very good there. He was patient, called Ryan out. Ryan didn't cover him. I think it can be awkward for Lucas because, like, the one move that hits behind him is going to be back air. And if he hits him with Nair, there's no guarantee it won't hit him in a favorable position. So, yeah. I think Ryan needs to slow it down a bit. Um, he's getting caught whiffing a lot of moves. Hakeem's the punish game is on point, too. Yeah. Uh, so Ryan, the problem is, is that he just needs to slow down. Maybe just start looking with like uh, like some dash dances and threaten a bit. But he's throwing out these aerials to try to close up the stock. And if you get greedy against the game, he will punish you for it. Yeah, both these characters have such violent punish games. I like that. Oh, Ooh, doesn't quite reach with the shine. Some of the PK fire. Whoa! Ooh. Was... Oh, oh my God! God. He's insane. <laughs> that was godlike. He's a monster. Holy shit! That was ruthless. He essentially just Fox double shined him and then just absorbed the third one. That was ridiculous. One. That was cheating. Go. So fucked up. That was so that's fucked up. up. That was, yeah, that was really fucked up. What the hell, dude? How can you look so in the eyes and do that? Three, two, Going to yeah. Ed D. Go. This is there's gonna be some blow ups. Yeah, and this is Ryan's ideal counter pick. Ryan just immediately trying to put the work in. Wow, that was such a good magnum. Okay. 
I guess he just got straight up punished there. I don't think there is any safe punish. Oh no, you have there... to tech that. Yeah. Like, the punishes are usually, like, super dangerous in this matchup, but especially on FD, you really don't want to whiff, whiff on safe shit, because stuff like that's going to happen. Fortunately, back air not sending at the right angle. And off Hakeem of one interaction, advantage. Hakeem not only cleaned up the percent, then took advantage of the next one to close up the stock immediately. Oh, yeah. this is going to be so This rough. is going to hurt so bad. Ooh, oh wow. my god. So much patience. Yeah. Uh, his punish game is so good. He's forcing Ryan to the ledge, shutting him out, and he's making him second guess what he should do from ledge and punishes him for that. Oh. Yeah. Oh, the back air not connecting. Oh, oh, this is a bad spot. Oh my god. Oh, good with a back air. This whole game has been played in the corner. Ryan is on the verge of a four stock. It's not ideal right now, um, but this is Ryan, so he could clutch it out. Yeah, last stock, Hawk. But he needs to fundamentally like change how he's approaching this right now. Yeah, it's a good Focus. start. This is bad. Good recovery. No, again, he just needs to get back on stage. You can yeah. reversal him or just start a combo once you take back center. Be in a safe position because these edge guards are not what you want. Yeah. Uh, not much off those shines. This is this is looking very no game favored. Good back air. Hakeem has been very good about um, staying just outside of the range he needs to be and then doing things like burst, double jump, and back air. You can tell he's very familiar with this matchup. Yeah, he is. It's like crazy just being comfortable around out of these characters. That's couldn't be me. Oh, he's playing this so smart. Yeah. Going to PS, PS2. Yeah, it makes sense for Ryan. Um, no. Some nice spacing, but still gets grabbed out of it. I'm surprised, usually Ryan um, is able to apply some safe pressure, but he's been having an issue with that. Even so far as so he's just getting shield grabbed. Decent start though. Oh. No conversion off the TK freeze, and that's gonna it's gonna pay dearly. Man, I think he's just getting a bit too greedy, and he's getting reversal. Yeah. Narrowly avoids the back air, gets a second chance at life here. <laughs> Kicks him in the face for trying to PK fire. Ooh, I don't know yeah. if he meant to neutral be there, but I assume yeah, that, that might be a, a tech error. Ooh, bad uh, trade. Yeah, the pressure. Oh. Okay, he cleaned it up. He still got this. He's still in yep. the running. Oh. This is definitely not out of this. It's a good start. Nice little string. Okay, that, that was a good attempt. Doing the fade out PK freeze. Um, yeah. You get clips, but that, it's good to like start making these adjustments now and mess with them while you have time, while you have the stocks to. Wow, so good. Such a good empty hog. Yeah. Ooh, Honestly, but... Ryan's been adapting a little bit this game. Um, he didn't go in for one of his unsafe dares. Yeah. He's just getting down aired over and over, looking like Falcon. Oh, no. unfortunate. This got too greedy again. Yeah. Like, I get it, because that, that up smash definitely would have uh, taken the stock, but can't be whipping that up. At this point, if he wants to take the game, he's better off doing this methodically, rather than trying to just eat out the up smash, you know? Yeah, maybe slow it down a bit. Oh, again. Just lets him back on. Yeah. I mean, it must be hard. It seems kind of awkward to edge guard as Lucas. Especially against the character like this. Oh, that's a bad spot. Oh, it doesn't get the ledge. Very unfortunate. Game slipping from his hands. It's looking like it might be a dominant 3-0 for, for, for a game. Yeah, um, oh no. Gotta get out of the corner now. Doesn't, avoids the yo-yo, ooh. Nice. All right. Solid stuff. 
Definitely just... it's still doable, but... It can be, you know, it's Lucas. Um, yep. But, you know, he just... Oh... The overextension, man, it's just been a constant problem. The game's waiting for that. Yeah. This punish game's been on point. So you're only getting diminishing returns out of just going in like that. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, that's it. Dominant 3-0 from a game. Good stuff. Good stuff to Ryan. Good stuff to Yeah. The winner is... Ness. Wow. Crazy. Um, what's up? Oh, word. Okay. All right. right good luck. Good commentating with you, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Don't take that with you. Take care, man. Welcome back. Howdy. Oh, Muldrift here was actually gonna... Ice Climber! Boy, Kirby versus Ice Climber is everyone's favorite matchup that we see all the time. Yep. Mm -hmm. I totally know what, what goes on here. Are you ready for the most common matchup in the game, Kirby versus Ice Climbers? Yes, I know Wait, all no, no. about. That's my water. I know all about this matchup front to back because the sheer amount of times that I've watched it, as has everybody. Yep. My favorite part of this matchup is when the thing happens and thing the grab. Yep. Yeah. So so ice climbers will probably grab Kirby. Kirby and, will press uh, the B button. You know you gotta you can't sleep on Kirby's uh you can't sleep on the down B. The, the aerial down B. I gotta clarify is the aerial down B because uh, this is uh, because this is the year 2021 millennial culture. Yeah. Cancelled. Kirby. Yeah, Kirby down B is cancelled. Uh huh. It will never recover from this. Let's let's see what we're what stage we're going to first. Because I'm sure the stage d depends a lot in this matchup. This stuff. Yep. Where will they go? What will they do? PS2. So we're going to Oakmont Stadium 2 in this home for the Hagadays tournament. And we're doing handies. Not to yep. be confused with hand jobs, I mean hand warmers. Same thing. Same thing. I couldn't have said it better myself. This is the worst thing I've said on stream. It w Kind of just practicing test skill, normal, normal hand job stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, hand warmer. Three, two, All right, we're getting right into it. Yep, right into the thick of it, as the backyardigans would say. Do they say that? Yeah, yeah. There's this whole song called "Into the Thick of It." They're, uh, they're, they're hanging out. They're in the thick of it. Yeah, that, that's what they sing. So, kind of I, I like this each other up now. Kirby, I'll tell you why. Uh, the first reason why is that the Kirby is piloted by Saber, who is just a remarkable player. 
not to, I mean, serve, very good player, but, but that, he's just serve level. I, Staper is just out of control. Second reason Ooh. is that Kirby, he has those nice bears. He edge guards those ice climbers, separates them and stuff. Separating up with the, the up throws, we're in up throw city. Just like that, Kirby taking out Nana. And taking out the other one. Kill, kills both of them with up throw. He'd love to see it. Looking like a uh, looking like suplex Kirby. Uh -huh. Even got the blue headband. Yes. And with the the American angry Kirby eyes. Is this angry Kirby? Yep. Oh it's yeah. Favorite's very own custom skin. See if he can maintain his lead. Looking yeah. pretty good so far. He just laying the hurt on the poor little ice climbers. He said he was... go from ice climbers to icicles. If they don't do something quick. He told me he uh, didn't really know what to do in this matchup, but like he's been playing it very well. Ice climbers is one of those characters that like I feel like a lot of characters' game plan versus them is the same. Down smash, separate Nana, like you know, edge guard. With with many a matchup, it's all about the neutral. In, uh, ice climbers matchups, it is no different because if ice climbers win neutral, ice climbers wins game. Ice Climber lose neutral. Ice Climber lose game. Ice Climber no like fire. No. Ice Climber no like back throw into the up air. So this is a three stocks to two. Yeah, looking pretty good. Yep. Ooh, ah, oh, well, moves right into the Ice Climber's hands. And like, Sir was only able to get a 22% combo from zero with Ice Climbers. Yeah. Hmm, maybe I, maybe I should main Kirby. And you're still playing, and you already play a Kirby character, you know. Yeah, but he's an obese penguin. It's true. Trying to wall out with some, with some uh, Frost Breath. At least I think that's Frost Breath. Yep. They, they really had to like use their imagination when they designed these characters. Mm -hmm. The yeah, game I mean, where all they do is jump. So none of the Ice Climbers special moves are canon. Yeah, because the, the deep Ice Climbers lore. Yeah, uh, Ice Climbers has only one move in Ice Climber. Well, two moves maybe, and that is forward F smash and up air. Yep. So, yeah, honestly, I, I I dig this plan. Just like, why why risk running into the ice climbers? Like, just kind of, kind of blame them out, honestly. But like, uh, you see that a lot. Yeah. Ooh. Didn't even take the copy ability. SMH. Ooh, good on avoiding the uh, the down air. I'll say. Oh, will it be enough? Ah, uh, Nana uh, coming in clutch. Uh-oh. Oh, wow. Got him with the, the brand butter ice climbers. This is still very doable for Sir. We still got Nana on the table. Uh-huh. Well, for now. This could be potentially one grab away from Sir taking this. That'd be quite the comeback. Yeah. Nana's still alive. This is so close. Yeah. I could almost taste well, it got a lot farther now. Uh yeah. <laughs> I mean you can't count Sobo out of it just yet, but this will be very difficult to do. Can't probably can't live that very many more up throws. That's how he almost got up throwed again. Okay, got the inhale. Oh come on, take the, the copy ability. Yeah, yeah. Give Kirby a parka. That's such a good Kirby Kirby outfit too. Yeah. Up in the up smash. Down with the up there. Yep. Caught him when he was about to jump. Wow, running it right back to the yeah. F2. Instead of going to whatever stage you can get a Kirby on, PS2. Because I suppose for a nice climber's player, serve I suppose does have some on there. I feel like going to a triplat stage as ice climbers is just you're begging to be lamed out. Yeah. I would. I would absolutely tap out of Ice Climbers. Uh 
Uh, but so far looking out, looking a little better for sure. But definitely has a higher percent lead. That down air working out great for him, and just like that, taking the lead. Uh huh. Down air working at such a good interrupt. Wait, how is how is Saber talking to a chat while he's also is he is he using his phone with his feet? What is this? What's the big idea? Uh, his clone is currently uh into a chat. Ah, uh, forget about it. This is his stand ability. Mm -hmm. He can uh <laughs> ability to shit post on his own stream. Horrifying. Yes. Ooh, makes it back. Honestly, like, Turf's been playing this really well. Uh, very good adaptation. Every every uh, hit Sopo gets just solidifies the lead more. Like, just an extra credit machine. Uh huh. Ooh, who tried to, tried I was to completely reverse it? so flabbergasted by this, this double personality. I didn't even notice Sir pulling the rug right from Saber's feet. Yeah, full stock lead here. Doesn't get much off that grab, but who cares? You got quite a quite a uh, lead build up. Oh yeah, d dash attack again doesn't work though. Uh -huh. uh, shaking his head. Oh. All right, dies at a nice percent. Not so nice for ice climbers. More nice for Saber. Yeah. Just like that, it's much more even now. But, you know, Kirby's doesn't have a lot of life left in him. Ice Climber's hit pretty hard. Mm -hmm. Just like that. And then with the up smash. Even the solo up, uh, Sopo up smash, enough to take it. Wow. Saber uh, complimenting his own opponent in chat. What is going on here? So Kirby getting kind of tossed around. Oh. oh, you know that's an unfortunate SD. Uh, you know what they say about SDs, they're unfortunate. They are. So I think that if... That's death. You know, if, if I were Serb, I would say yes, because I took game two. Absolutely. All right, one apiece. So we're going, uh, we're going to Battlefield. We got a nice old triplat. Just for, uh, just for Syrup here. Kirby kind of going to Animal on Sopo, on the Nana there. Uh-huh. He's going Danimals on so uh, Sopo. Remember Danimals? <laughs> Danimals? I'm not talking about the sugar-infested tubular yogurt drink. No, I am talking about Daminals, the Wario main from Massachusetts, who has quit the game forever. Yo, that yogurt was fire. I never tasted it, because I was never a yogurt person, but if I did try Daminals, I'm sure I'd like it. Daminals is good, but honestly, that real good stuff was Gogurt. Mm, the, I tried Gogurt. I love Gogurt. Something about it being in the tube just made it better. Yeah. Shout out to Gogurt. Also... <laughs> Shouts to Sopo, going kind of going wild here. Yeah, wilding it out, as uh, the MTV boys would say. Low-key, Gogurt would be a godlike smash tag. Wait, there was a Danimal, a singular Daminal? Where's Where was Daminal, Danimal from? The yogurt dimension. The yogurt dimension. Ooh, Saber kind of being put in the yogurt dimension. Uh -huh. Fighting his way back. Ooh. Try and get out his own hammer. Kirby going in right now. Uh-huh. Oh, Danimo was from Florida. And just like that, scraping the lead back. So Serb really trying to hit Saber with the old Danimo's yogurt combo. Saber, uh... Going back with a uh, with a jab, just straight up saying "screw off, Nana." I'm gonna forward smash. They call that the Dan the the Danimals jab. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, after the the tubular yogurt drink, Danimals had that like monkey in it. It was extreme. Yeah. Uh, what do you say? Fruity delicious. I don't know if he actually said that. He said, "Hey, have my Danimals yogurt. Fuck you. Have my fucking yogurt. You." Stupid piece of shit. 
He absolutely did say that, though. And you know, that's what Sabres have to serve. I know you like Danimal's yogurt, but I'm giving it right to you, Danimal style. That's like animal style, but with Danimal's yogurt. Smash Brothers, everyone. Ooh, good grab. Yep. Just like that. The, the lead in this game is just being tossed around. It's very back and forth. Yeah. Tossed, uh, tossed around like the watermelon in uh, Ice Age when when they're trying to get the watermelon from the Dodos. Just like that, the game. Dead even here. Yep. That down air from uh, the Ice Climbers is such a good tool at interrupting Kirby. Saving uh, their behind quite a lot. Quite. But Kirby always finding a way in. And when Kirby gets in, it hurts. Yeah, nice, nice slidey attack. That's the grounded down special. Looking to end the game right here. But okay. not quite ending the game. It's going to go on and on, just like the Ice Age franchise. What was the last Ice Age movie? Ice Age 5. Uh, what? Collision Course. They made five of those? Yeah. I thought the they only made really three. really fucking horny too, because like every movie, I fucking swear, they have a new female version of one of the main characters, but with tits. And then they hook up, because you need a romantic subplot. And the series will end when everyone hooked up. Wild. Isn't one of them like a mammoth? How do you make a horny version of a mammoth? Actually, you know what? I don't want to know. You get her voiced by Whoopi Goldberg. Of course she's voiced by Whoopi Goldberg. Why wouldn't you? And just like Whoopi Goldberg, Serb just got a view from up top because he just fucking died. That was really good. Because Whoopi Goldberg hosts The View. That was a really good uh, reference. Thank you. I've been practicing. Let's see. We're going to potentially the last game of the set. Three, two, Smashville. One. All right, so if so, if uh, games in a set were uh, named the same way as Ice Age movies, this would be called Game Four: Continental Drift. This is a legendary comedy duo, a commentary. So we got that Naruto music. Yep. Probably when Shikamaru was thinking about stuff. The best part of Naruto is when Shikamaru threw a flash grenade at some guy and then strangled him. That's my that's my Naruto take of the day. I'll say. I have a hot Naruto take, but it is not suitable for stream. Rad. Maybe in the after hours. <laughs> but it involves the Dara and his hands. They've just been going in on each other this game. Sherb, uh, still mounting this percent lead, uh, yep. percent lead. I didn't even realize that uh, Kirby lost a stock somewhere, but... Oh my god, just slights them in half! It up smashes Nana just for the, the, the hell of it. Ooh. Just like the glaciers in Ice Age 4, Continental Drift. Just like the, the real-life glaciers melting away because of monkey JPEGs. Yo, that is so fucked up. Are they really melting? Well, they've been melting for a while, but the, the enormous amount of energy the NFT is take probably isn't helping. Wow, this is just like Ice Age 4 Continental Drift. We gotta do something about it. Did Ice Age project NFTs? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. Bum, bum, bum. Saber looking pretty good this game. I'll say. They've been adapting to each other really well. Kind of feeling the matchup as it goes on. You can, yeah. I, I kind of love to see this stuff. But, uh, he can maybe do a little bit more feeling, because I don't know if you haven't noticed, but he's kind of behind. Yeah. Surf's been doing great. Unfortunately, he's now reduced to a Sopo. And with the yep boom, I wonder why you didn't do the up smash. It can be very hard for Sopo to land against most characters. Ooh. Got pineappled. Saber shaking his head. The old Takumi. Wow. Barely killing. But still, uh, Serb still has quite a lead built up. Yep. It's definitely not out of it for Saber. Saber is definitely capable of making comebacks. Uh -huh. Kirby's gonna have to, he's gonna have to climb. It's gonna be a climb. Kirby's Miley Cyrus because he has a climb. Whatever happened to Miley Cyrus? I don't really, I want her to be happy. That's what I, I hope she's happy. I hope that's what happened to Miley Cyrus. I hope that for most child actors. 
Because yeah. most of the time they're not. God, imagine being Billy's kid. <laughs> imagine being Saber and losing. Imagine being Ooh. Serb and almost killing yourself. That'd be wild. Uh oh. This could be it. Yep. Ice Climbers things. Ooh, wow. Let's go. I am going to cry and shit myself. What? <laughs> Me too, buddy. Me too. Saber in his seat. He's crying. He's pissing. He's shitting. He's making a whole goddamn scene. Where's he gonna go? Where's he gonna take us? We're just gonna find right out. In this winner's finals of home for the holidays. You know what's crazy? I just realized Kais is not here. That is so that that is just fucked. You know, I think that he just wants to give the other kids a shot to win. Kais uh showing mercy this month. Alright, so we got game five, collision course. They're just kind of smacking each other. Up yeah. Each other's grills. They're doing little kicks. Smacking with each other. Oh yeah, no, no Anthony either. Uh huh. So some of the Connecticut mainstays have not shown up. Uh huh. Really, it's Anthony, Kyle, Rico, Flubs. Uh, I hope whoever didn't show up but watches this vod does not realize that I forgot their name. I believe Rico and Flubs are actually at a 100 Gex concert. That's what I heard. I hope they're having a wonderful time. Shout out to people that can stand listening to 100 Gex. Yeah. Couldn't be me. Uh, anyway, uh, Serb uh, currently losing. Not a great look for Serb. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's been so back and forth this set. Like, like Saber takes a game, then Serb takes a game, then Saber takes a game, then Serb takes a game. And right now, Saber looking pretty good. All right, uh, so now uh, now we're getting a little bit more even. Yeah. Ooh, wow. Just swatting the Ice Climbers out of the air. Uh-huh, and all of a sudden we are down one Icy. Still one too many Ice Climbers, if you're going to ask for my humble opinion. Good job DIing the uh, up air, but it's so hard for Sopo to get back. <laughs> Smacks him in the head with three. Icicles. Uh, imagine doing that, just throwing ice at someone. Unfortunate. Tries to shoot. Tr tries to latch just at latch a ditch effort to uh, even the game up. Does not work out. Kirby still a solid stock ahead. All but, right, got a little shark with the up air. Ooh, good down smash. Uh -huh. and that, just like that, it's dead even. You cannot count anyone in this tournament out ever. Everyone here is so good. Mm -hmm. Especially like a character like Ice Climbers, they're always in it as long as they're together. It's the power of friendship, really. Yep. They're the real Shonen protagonists. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we, we got some little kickies. Yeah, Sabres is making actually pretty good use of the down tilt. Low profile is a lot of uh, the air approach options and is a good poke. And sometimes it's set. Ooh! Not the spiky spike, but it doesn't really matter. It was yeah. more of a meteor, not even, just a downward attack. But juggling him up. Uh-huh. You might as well call this guy Pugler, the punk rock juggler. That's really nice. Uh, anyway, so we got some, uh, we got some neutral. Not much going on right now. Yeah. Oh, we got some ice chunks. I think that Saber should hit him with the old F. Oh, nope. I the old down smash. Last stock, last game. Uh-huh. Somebody, somebody get me my gimp suit because we're all tied up here. Wild. Ooh. So I think that all Serb needs is one shitty fucking grab and he, he's gonna be grand. Final person material man. It's like so close. Ooh, good yeah. grab. Nothing off of it, immediately back throws. This is such a volatile, volatile game. Oh no! The down smash connecting though. Ooh. Is, this is, could be it. 
And I Serb going to Grand it. Finals. Serb going to Grand Finals. Well done. Second upset of the night. Saber definitely not out of it yet. Uh huh. Who's he? Uh, he's fighting uh, Hakeem in. Uh, so Loser's next we finals, have. Next we have Wombat. Oh we yeah. We got Wombat and we have Hakeem. So both of them very good players. I fucking drove both of them here. <laughs> That's funny. That's quite a drive, actually. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's New Jersey and New York. Yeah, it's like uh, it's like joining forces. I mean, you know Hakeem. He's a uh, he's a cosmopolitan. He's Connecticut. He's New York. He's even New Jersey. Do you think he knows where Old Jersey is? Huh? Do you, do you think he has the forbidden knowledge of knowing where Old Jersey is? Hmm. You know, I wouldn't play it past that, Hakeem. Wombat definitely knows where Old Jer Jersey is, and he's a coward and won't tell me. Uh-huh. Well, Old Jersey, if you don't know, is actually Hitbox Arena, also known as the Broom Closet. So we got Hakim and Wombat. This could be an interesting matchup. I, you don't see uh, Squirtle Ness every day. You don't see Squirtle anyone every day. Yeah, but if I were to guess, uh, I have absolutely no fucking idea what's gonna happen. Same. Shit, Wombat's shirt is purple. I told him it was blue today, but it, it might actually be purple. None of it matters. It doesn't matter. Forget about it. We're going Forget to about that. We're going to game one. So the last time something like this happened, I think it was at Togoween. I think that was a very close set. I think that Hakeem was able to just barely win by the skin of his skin. Right now he's looking pretty dominant. The the classic nest barrage of uh of down airs into the back air. The classic whatever the fuck just happened. Uh Hakeem moment. Look at the look in Hakeem's eyes. Look at the Look at the dead serious. Look, actually, look at the look in both of their eyes. They're uh, ready to actually fucking murder each other. Yep. But they will murder each other with friendship. Yep. In a video game and not real life yet. Yeah. Depends on how uh, close the set goes. <laughs> okay. Ooh, whoa! Go over the double bear. Oh, wow. The, the classic Hakeem legends of bear. It shouldn't work, but it does. King going actually. So joining us is our grand finalist, Serb. Serb, how does it feel to commentate this set right now? Uh, you know, I want to I wanna not play Hakeem again, so I'm going to root for Wombat here. You know, Wombat's my boy, but he also has an ego. So I try to split on who wins. Um, it would be kind of fun to chain grab Wombat. Because he, he taunted on my boy, Dom. Ah, indeed he did. So I feel like I need to chain grab him and then taunt him. Uh huh. So for purely selfish reasons, it'd be kind of fun. So Wom Wombat one. Wombat, averting getting fucking four stocked. <laughs> averting the JV four barely. Oh man. Let's go, Hakeem. Wombat's looking oh, like what the fuck back. just happened. We gotta do this again, you know. The sun was in my eyes. My little brother was playing this game on the wrong controller. Uh, uh, yeah, the wrong controller. You know, the bro just moving on its own. That was Wom. That was that was somebody else. It was me. I was playing a portal. Those are some some mad cats. Mad mad cat setups here. Uh huh. Oh. Wom, that thought I was playing into the gun <laughs> Okay. He's like almost doing a combo. Uh, anyway, game two, <laughs> the meltdown. The double crawl attack. Why is it called game two, the meltdown? It is called game two, the meltdown because Hakeem is just fucking melting Wombat. <laughs> like an edgy nine-year-old's action figure. Also a nice uh, potential metaphor for Wombat's mental state right now. Why? As he gets footstool dare bear. Uh-huh. 
Just looks, just looks lost out there. Uh -huh. Lost little turtle boy. <laughs> Stray far from the ranch cowboy. Oh. Get him. Are you gonna cry and shit yourself? Okay. Come a little. No, come on. <laughs> okay, but but a uh, <laughs> nice comeback starting by Wombat. He got his first real looking stock. Yes. And you know, I think maybe, maybe he can bring it back. Yeah, we'll see. Against the menace Hakeem. <laughs> Against the Dennis <laughs> Hakim. He just bought dogs like six times in a row. Against the Mensch Hakim. Oh, he's a Mensch, all right. Uh huh. Really obese oh, combo by Hakim no. there. Looking like an Anna combo. Uh huh. Oh no. Oh no, a sort oh. of missed distance, the wave dash there. Hakim but... very rarely does cool stuff. So when Hakeem starts doing cool stuff to you, you know you know it's already over. No, he be chilling. When Hakeem is trying, he plays very lame. Uh huh. When he starts going for neutral okay. get up nope. read bat, you it's over. He's he's already one in his head. Now can Wombat capitalize on this uh, this lowering of his guard, so to speak, from from Hakeem? Yep. I hope he goes for his waterfall attack. Well, that was a waterfall. Oh, that was kind of cool. Yeah. Really right. uh, called out the PK Thunder. All right, here comes Lame Hakeem. He's back. He's mad about that stock. He's gonna he's gonna be a lame sauce again. Uh huh. Two stocks to one. It's it's probably a tie, maybe. <laughs> or you know, not. Yeah. Two is a bigger number than one, after all. That is that is a fact. I don't but, know much, but I know that. Wombat. Well, Closing the Womb Gap. Oh, he whiffed the crab. Oh! Get him with the crag bear. Fair. <laughs> All right, so Wombat says, I'm not going to get embarrassed anymore. I'm going to get comboed, but I'm going to make it. I'm going to lose this 3 0, but I'm going to make it look. I'm going to make it look competitive while I do it. So it is actually a time game for real right now. Whiffs the grab. Gets some down tilts that Hakeem. Fires a fireball. PK fire. Oh no. Oh no. Uh -huh. Rolling. I think they should go for a, a dash magnet. A <laughs> mag dash, if you will. I know he's been trying to practice those. Uh, Wombat? No, 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 um, oh, Hakeem. Because he has the PSI magnet. <laughs> uh, Wombat, um, it came through the meltdown. It is 1-1, one, one, Wombat saying, nah, the sun was in my eyes, see? That was interesting. That's all I can say about that game. So we're going to... Uh, game three, Dawn of the Dinosaurs. <laughs> Is that because Squirtle's kind of like a dinosaur? Uh, perhaps that could be a, a possible, a possible interpretation of Wombat's Cowboy and Squirtle. It's, it's like the show Dinosaur Ranch. You ever watch that? Dinosaur Ranch? <laughs> I did not watch anything called Dinosaur Ranch. It's, uh, it's about these little cowboy kids. They all ran, uh, dinosaurs around. Is it, is it like anime Jurassic Park? Uh, it's like a CGI. <laughs> All the dinosaurs are friendly. Sometimes even, they get into submission, but it's okay. Even better. But uh, Hakeem did get a quick stock, but Wombat not far uh, far behind. Doing okay. Oh my god. Oh man. <laughs> so Streamer says Dinosaur Ranch sounds like the nickname for oil. I'm gonna call it Dinosaur Ranch. <laughs> <laughs> So a uh, nice edge guard by Wombat there. New, new water gun is a menace. As it should be. Squirrel <laughs> just deserves so much, especially because he's more obese than Mario. It's true. I miss little Squirtle. I don't. <laughs> I played little Squirtle, so I enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. Played little Squirtle along with, along with Spaz. Remember Spaz? I do remember Spaz. Squirtle Lucas. Yeah. The man, the man pushed buttons. I'll say. Just like Wombat just now, going for an edge guard against Hakeem. Will he do it? No, he won't. Will he do it? No, he won't. Will he do Okay. Okay, Hakeem is. Okay. Yes, yes, he will. He will. He will. I, that was reverse psychology, see? <laughs> uh huh. Wombat not letting up. Oh, goodness, you gotta get out of the PK fire. The PK fire. The 
Keem just pushing advantage with the with uh -huh. portals back to ledge. Ness, when you're Ness with it back to you while you're back there to ledge is so scary. You just know he's gonna back air you. And you can't do anything about it. <laughs> nice bear. <laughs> there he goes, back Aaron. All right, we up got air. with the up air. Ness has a pretty powerful up air. Just absolutely powerful. It's just a little child head. He's got a gigantic, gigantic head. Yeah. For all those brain cells. Uh oh. Uh oh. Those brain cells are Ness's needs. Up. Ooh, there it is. No, there it isn't. It's not keen. So All right, Ness combo. I think he could have got a dare there. Oh, nice. tech Platform chase. tech chase. Ooh, yeah, I wasn't sure if he'd be able to do it, but lo and behold, I keep with the tech chase. Ooh, ooh. Uh, Hit just with a double pair. Attack Tiger. on the hurt. Oh, Into a game three. Dawn of Hakim. Dawn of Hakim. He is the dinosaur. <laughs> Hakeem's Revenge. So now we're going Game 4 Collision Course. So the question that we're all asking is, what course will they be collisioning to? And the answer, Final Destination. A great a great place for a climactic Game 4. Quite. Hakeem with the PK fires, misses the grab. Oh. Oh no, Wombat, Wombat, no. Wombat, please. Interesting. Wombat looked at Hakeem like it was Hakeem's fault that he did that. Uh -huh. He gave Hakeem the dirtiest look. <laughs> Hakeem not even taking a homie stock. Some homie he is. Eh? <laughs> I wouldn't. I mean, I wouldn't either. Nana gives away homie stocks herself. Yeah. <laughs> I'm playing as King Deity. I, I, I basically already gave you a homie stock. Yeah, you're already starting four stocks to three. Uh, anyway, Ooh. so how are we gonna convert this to another stock? Probably Hakeem. a back air. Uh huh. Uh, Fair. Not quite long range enough to do anything. Oh, hits him with the up smash. Not quite enough. Final Nation reasonably high ceiling. Not unreasonable, you'd say. Gets him with the down throw. It's a wonder Hakeem <laughs> survived. It's a wonder Hakeem didn't make it. Water gun, man. Uh huh. Really, a uh, razzle frazzle in him. Truly a razzle flazzle move. Oh, got him. The famous nest stop. <laughs> Here's some interesting down smashes from uh, Wombat here. I'll say. They're not really doing anything. I'm not sure what he's reading or like going for. Because Squirtle can't like shell shift into down smash either, can he? Uh, Not in the way he can with up smash, because um, unless you can like jump cancel it or something, but oh, nice spacing. Hit with the old PK Ooh. boy. <laughs> Man, I love Squirtle. Boy, do I love Squirtle. <laughs> Oh no. That's unfort. Wait, did, did he aqua jet the PK fire? Uh, you technically can. That is, that is so cringe. I can't believe it. <laughs> That's right, because there are certain, um, there are certain, uh, elements like Lucas's PK ice and the Waddle D that count as, like, hurt boxes. Yep. So they can, they can eat it. Uh huh. Like it activates on uh, Ice Block, too. Wow. Does that mean Lucario gets aura off Ice Block? No. I don't know why it counts. There's like weird... It, ice Blocks are weird. Oh, that's weird. But what's not weird and totally expected is that Hakeem beats Wombat. Wombat gets fourth place. Good showing by Wombat. Now we have... Ness Kirby, I think. Next up, we have what we projected it to be the grand finals, but it's actually the loser's finals because somebody beats both of them. This guy. This guy. I walked in today, Dom said, I think it should be three seed or four seed. And then I said three seed. I was being modest. 
Wombat also said I should be three seed. And then he gave him four seed. He gave me four seed. Uh huh. And here I am in grants. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Really says a lot about society. And Wombat, who argued for third seed, is is at fourth. He got fourth. Just saying. Should have been six seed. <laughs> This matchup is the modern day Kais versus Flip. <laughs> oh, we're doing Amateur's Grands first. Amy Grands. So we got Pineapple Tommy and the Mikoshi. I well, would, well earned places in gra Grands. I would say players. those are probably the two best players who didn't make final brackets, so this makes sense. Yeah. You know, I, I, I was playing as Pineapple Tommy. I, I was a little bit scared. You know, I, I I thought he could beat me. I'm well, thankful he didn't, but oh god, he he, he might have, huh? The last time I played against Tommy, he almost beat me. Luckily, he did not. This man, he's going places. Well, let's see if the place he will go is first place. So, Koshi plays mostly Ivysaur now, right? Uh, yeah, Ivysaur. He has like a Fox secondary. I've but... seen his, I have I've seen his Fox once or twice today, and uh. His Ivysaur, I'll say, looks better. Yeah, so the, the problem with Fox is that, yeah, he's a good character, but, like, everyone and their dog knows Fox. So in order to make Ooh. even the headiest of headway with Fox, you gotta be exceptional. Yep. But Pineapple Tommy Up taking bears. the first stock. Ugh. Interesting cape, but did not get punished for it. Wow, I am tired. I need <laughs> to take a break. Okay, right. see you guys later. All right. Joining me, fourth place champion, Wombat himself. Hello, Can't really Wombat. say hello. Can't really say fourth place and champion in the same uh, same you're line. The, you're the best fourth place here. You're the best at getting fourth place right now. I uh, I yeah, no yeah. one no one today is gonna get a better fourth place than you did. That is true. You are the fourth place champion. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah. Justin's cooking. I love a good meaty oh. Ivysaur comp. Oh, he expected a, good... a jump. Also, I wonder if he thought he was gonna get different in a dash attack because there's what? Oh my God, top four payout. That means that means I yes. get less. That means I get less money for a second. That's a bummer. I made one dollar. Let's go. Hey, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> Koshi with the edge guards. You know what? I like watching Ivysaur. Ivysaur's kind of cool. Yeah, Ivy's actually a really cool character. Both of these characters are pretty cool. He was hoping that Meta Knight wouldn't go as high so he could get the down air. Oh! But the belly flop securing game one. That was silly. It was silly, but it worked. That's P plus. Yep. <laughs> Pretty much how it goes. Actually, we act like the game is jank like a lot, but honestly, the game is a lot less jank than like a lot of other games out there. Yeah, people are just whiner babies. There's a lot of weird shit in Melee that would be jank if we hadn't seen it a hundred times already. Yeah, exactly. Like all of Peach. <laughs> Yes. Like, Peach isn't even, like, the best character or anything, but, like, definitely one of the most jank. Pikachu? A random angle on your up air? Come on. What yeah, come on. That's whack. More, what's more P-plus than that? It's a semi-spike, but only sometimes? Sure. Uh, have I... you heard the conspiracy that Falco is a PM character? His uh, neutral's a B-move. Um, he has, like, aerials that kill really early. He's got a lot of jank going on. 
Yeah, I believe it. Dr. Mario, full of jank. Yeah, you see, I like that thing that he has where he can like up B and then not move. Yeah. That's that's janker than anything we have. Oh yeah. A lot of our stuff seems janky, but it works exactly as intended. Up B does not. Dr. Mario, doofy PM character. A reverse sex kick? That's not normal. It's interesting at least. It is, but it's something I would call jank. There, got it. And then they never did it again. Bring back Pokemon Trainer. Bring back Pokemon Trainer. Hell no. Just what, what if we did? What if you could be Charizard, Squirtle, or Ivysaur at any given time? That'd be so... He'd be the best character. Yeah, it'd be awesome. But he has to keep the fatigue the fatigue thing. No. <laughs> he'd be the worst character. <laughs> I loved Brawl Pokemon Trainer. It was so goofy. Brawl Pokemon Trainer was made with love. Oh, no, it was made with hatred. That character was so bad. Yeah, but they didn't know he was going to be bad. They didn't have any idea what they were doing. They made him so good in uh, Ultimate, though. Yeah, it's because they like with switching. I like how close these games have been. Who's on yeah, Winners? I guess, is I, guess could, I guess we could talk about them. Yeah, is um, <laughs> is Amy double a limb or is it single? Uh, I think Grant is just... Oh, it's, it's double a limb. Who's on Winner's side? Tommy, I think he said. Oh, Pineapple Tommy's on winner's side. Oh, oh. Cooking. Nine bracket, uh, nine person brackets are fun. Because, um, I think there was nine people in Redemption. Sounds about right. Um, nine bracket, uh, things are fun because only one person goes 0 and 2 if everything's seated right. That's a good point. Sucks to be that guy, though. Oh yeah. <laughs> like, oh, congratulations! You are the worst player in the in the bracket. In the in the Amy bracket. Which, to be fair, for PM is still pretty good. Yeah, this this game's a, like really top heavy. I was I was talking about earlier, but we have uh, like one new guy who like we have like a, a convert from melee who comes out every week right now. The last like three weeks. And he's playing like he's playing Wolf. He's trying to he's trying to play Wolf. Wolf is Wolf is pretty sick. Wolf is sick, but it, like it's hard to learn Wolf. And he's playing against like our entire PR, and that's the only people, other people in bracket. It's like him and. Why didn't he pop the balloon? Cause they're, cause they're weenies. This is why they're not in the real bracket. They don't have the heart. I don't know if you saw. In my set versus. Sh oh wait, no, it wasn't on stream. In my set versus Shadowhawk. <laughs> Every game on Smashville, I would stop everything and pop the balloon. That's how you gotta do it. Uh, you know Geo, right? Yeah. Um, notorious balloon popper. Uh, he once lost a game because he went so deep for the balloon that he couldn't recover. On last Fair. talk. And he was probably like, yeah, that's worth it. Yeah, he was not mad at all. He was like, yeah, that was the right choice. I made the correct decision. It was my fault for not getting it sooner. He, he, he has the moral victory. Oh, yeah. That's all he ever played for in brackets, so. Oh, oh that was a smart uh, that idea. That was a really good Vine Whip. 
Yeah, right, that was pretty much the only distance that was going to work at to avoid the All right. tornado. Solar beam on deck. They just ignore the balloon. Uh, talk to them. We'll, we'll have to talk to them after the game. One week during Wombat Wednesday, we talked about that and uh, about like there should be a balloon counter. We should be able to keep score. We used to have that at SG, a manual balloon counter. Like a person? Uh, I mean, the, the stream the stream guy had like a balloon. Like it was like a setup like this, but there was also a balloon counter in the bottom left. So Eon heard it and she heard us talking about it and she's like starting to implement it. Nice. I think we asked her for that earlier in the world because I brought that up a, lot, a while ago. Oh no, yeah. I brought up there should be a mode where the, the Smashville balloon gives you a stock back. That would be, that would also be fun. That would be fun. The game could never end, potentially. Uh, if you're trading balloons, it would make Pit, Pit would be the best character. But sometimes you'd pull a Geo and you would go for the balloon and die for get, trying to get it. It'd be uh. Also Falcon would be buffed. Falcon would be good. All the good characters would get better, which would be a problem. Yeah. <laughs> All the good characters and Pit. Up, oh. up, up the top. Oh, come on, do it. Oh, that was the... Oh, Makoshi's too scared to use it. Use the solar beam. Oh, all right, do oh, it do right it. here, right here. Oh. oh. He was just asking to get a solar beam. I'm saying he was sitting at that. That was his only chance. He was sitting at the 45 degree angle, like shoot it, I dare you. And he and he was on the ledge, so like if uh, he hit Pineapple Tom, he could have stage spiked him, killed him first. It's a possibility. You got to go for it, because you know what happened. He did nothing and he died anyway. Yeah, like he like he knew he like he accepted his fate. I'd rather die a hero. I want to. If I lose, I'm going down swinging. Uh oh. Alright, what if the winner of Amy Grants gets a thug finals with the winner of the tournament? That'd be messed up if that's who knocked him into losers. <laughs> that would be. Oh, dash deck is so weird. Tommy has not gotten hit by a single Razor Leaf, the, like the, the the noob killer Razor Leaf reel in thing. Ooh, you see that? You see that smart Nair? That giant brain Nair? Uh, the uh, the anti cape, anti cape tech. Yeah. <laughs> New, neutral get up down tilt. All right. Sure. Watch him whip. Why not? You guys didn't see it, but I just did a whip. Can confirm. It did indeed happen. Because like he's jabbing like the wrong way. These games have all been so close. I do kind of love any bracket because, like, very rarely does any, like, either player play lame. They just fucking swing at each other. It's an absolute slobber knocker. And probably why they're, you know, in Emmys and not in real bracket is because they, uh, have ignored the defensive part of the game for the most part. But that's okay. That's fine. You ever, are you are you a fan of salty bet? Uh, I have salty betted once. Though, so, um, my favorite salty bets are the are the low tier matches of salty bet. <laughs> Where like the AI doesn't work, it's all broken and stuff like that. They're just like s doing one move in the corner and you're not sure if it's gonna work or not. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds fun. I know that was an option. I did one salty bet at Siffy House one time. I lost like the first fight. And I said, this isn't that fun. I give up. Oh. Did you did you bet against anime girls? Probably. Never bet against anime girls. Oh, because oh, he, he forgot he jumped. <laughs> That's the worst on fountain because like you have so much extra time of falling after you don't jump. And it's too late to recover and you're just like, there I go. Uh-huh. I'm an idiot. Have I ever yep, told you I, how much I hate this stage? Um, no, but I believe it. It's not a it's not a fantastic stage by any means. It is it is my second least favorite stage on the stage list. What's your first first Dreamland? 
All right, I'm on board for that. Right. Why do we have a stage hazard? We modded the stage into the game. On Dreamland? Pineapple Tommy, win an ambi bracket. Do we still have twi wind wind on Dreamland? Yes. I haven't played a I haven't played a game on Dreamland in like four years. I never go there, but I always like don't ban it because I assume my opponent's not gonna go there, and I'd rather ban Wario Land. I used to do that, and then two things happened. Sand counter picked me there, with green game to watch, and played lame game to watch, on Dreamland, which was not fun. I can imagine. And then from that point on, I banned it almost every time. And then one time I played Flarp, and I said, he's not going to go to Dreamland, he's playing Luigi. He went to Dreamland, and he timed me out. Oh, jeez. And I never went back. I banned it in every set, no matter what. It also helps that ICs don't really work there. Because the stage is too big, and like if you get a certain distance from Nana, her AI like turns off, and she gets really confused. And it's really easy to get that, because Dreamland is so big, so Nana will just like stop trying to get to you and like run around. And yeah, then she it's, dies. It's it's really weird how Nana acts sometimes. Cause yeah. like sometimes she just uh she just doesn't feel like it. Um yeah, I'm aware. Yeah, like that scene from SpongeBob, like you start, you go to uh, like approach your opponent right from go, and like Nana just stands like like <laughs> I don't really feel like it. I'm good. Nah, you got it. Nice. Oh Nana. I like when you when I di per, a move perfectly to the top like right corner, and then Nana runs off the Ready? stage, double jumps, and falls to her death. Cause she's trying to come help me, but she just can't reach me, and then she dies. Look at this! Look at this property damage. Little does he know, he'll never ever break it. Won't break it unless you break the ones above it. Oh, is that is that true? Yeah. I've never actually done this. So the top, uh, there's two there's two rows of. Um, uh, like pillars, and if you break the top row of pillars, it makes that able to be broken. Interesting. But until then, he can just keep wailing it. Or there's also a pillar. They put a pillar on the training stage. I did know that. Icy's don't really have anything that needs to get practice on him. Wow, he SDs in his hand warmer. Big loser. Who does that? Me. Only. I do that all the time. <laughs> Uh, I have I have missed some some ledge dashes. Now he has another pillar to fight. Kirby. Kirby. Man, now I know how people feel when they fight me because I was like, man, this 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 dude keeps low profiling me. I definitely got hit by some stuff and I wasn't sure what was going on. And also, I had a pretty good understanding of the matchup in 3.6. And uh, between the Blizzard nerf and the Cutter Dash buff, I can no longer just stand still in Blizzard Kirby. And the whole extra move. But I don't think it uses the uh, the slide kick. Uh, he It works on Ice. If he hits it, Icy's just die because they're like the right kind of floaty. So it's good when he hits it. But if he doesn't, I'm pretty sure I can get a grab and kill him. So... Also, it's I could rough. be wrong, because I don't really understand Kirby still. Luckily, he dies at 70 to F throw up smash, because he is a light, light boy. I didn't get a single handoff spike in that set. Five games. Not one. Not one. I noticed that. It's very hard to get on Kirby. Did you, like, get as far as to confirm and then miss, or is it just, like, you didn't get to that point at all? Uh, I got to it once, and I just did F smash instead, because he dies. What? Um, it's just hard to get, it's hard, he's pretty hard to grab in general, and then it's, it's hard if you're not already in position to get him at ledge, because you can't make him get there very easily, because he's so light that he just falls out of all the moves. And now we have a battle of friendship. Yes. Two, two happy homie characters, played by two more homies. Just a big homie party. If any two people are, would be powered up by the power of friendship, it's these two. I can agree with that. Ooh. Love the spacing they're both showing right now. Ooh. Kirby edge guard. Kirby edge guard. 
Oh! Spam those back airs. Oh yeah, he was ready for that cutter dash. <laughs> yeah, look at this. Akeem has the eyes of like a fucking killer right now. Look at this. What is? Akeem's got like the eyes of a killer. Oh yeah, he's looking, he's looking spooky right now. He is death blaring that screen right now. He wants this puffball gone. I mean, to be fair, same. I'm guessing you. Oh yeah, I guess, I'm guessing you'd rather fight Hakeem here. Um, I don't know. I don't have a good grasp on either of the matchups. Really? I usually lose to Hakeem, so I'd probably rather play Corey again. But I don't know. How, would you be more or less confident if you went Ness? Much more confident. He has a go. He tried Ness once, like five years ago. Yeah, but that was five years ago. You're, he's he's, never, man. he's He's not going to do it. He's already told me he'll never do it. I ask him to go Ness, and he says no. Maybe that's just the reverse psychology. I'll tell him to go Mario. That's the play. Or Corey will just win, and I want to talk to Kakim at all. Or not. They're keeping it dead even. Yeah, they're having a, they're having a set. I'll have to talk to Hakeem though for a while. I'm gonna be stuck in a car with him for two hours. That doesn't sound too bad. Me and Hakeem had a very uh, a very deep philosophical conversation earlier. Ooh, I always love a good uh, philosophical conversation. Yeah, he's he's uh he's getting into philosophy, and I minored in philosophy like six years ago in college. So we're meeting in the middle of me forgetting most of my stuff and him not having learned that much yet. <laughs> so it's it's an interesting time. All I remember from uh, philosophy is that I hate Martin Heidegger. I uh, never learned him. Good. Dude, <laughs> Dude is an actual like piece of shit. I'll tell you about it later. All right. Oh, that was cute. I don't think I've ever seen Dare that high before. They are playing dangerously by ledge. These men don't fear death. Um, if you Meteor Cancel as Kirby, do you keep all your jumps, or just, no. just oh, one? Wait. I mean, if you Meteor Cancel, I think I think you keep you all your jumps many, regardless. However many, however many you had left. Yeah, however many you had. Alright. I think that's how it works. If I'm wrong, somebody in chat can just correct me. Yeah, I have no idea. I've never yeah. thought about it until right now. I only play characters that, uh, have, you know, one mid-air jump. I play characters that can Meteor Cancel, so... Okay, so apparently we were right. All right. Cool. Wait, what? Just one jump? Oh. Oh, it's just a jump. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. It just counts as one of your jumps. Yeah. And most characters just only have one jump. Just barely right. clutching that out. All right, Corey. Yo, look at this round boy. <laughs> look at this round boy. He is a round boy. Wait, is this a... A hand warmer? You know what these things are called? I found out what these things are called. These things where you put your hands in them, you see the football players holding them. I'm giving this uh, description because um, it's going to make it's gonna sound crazy out of context. Okay. Those hand warmer things that football players have sometimes. It's called a muff. So you've got your hands on muff right now. What you're saying. Yeah. You got your hands deep in the muff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, I'll do it this way. There you go. So Chopper can see the world. He can watch the match too. <laughs> in Japanese, Chopper and Pikachu Ooh. have the same voice actress, which is crazy to me because if I voice acted Pikachu, I would not do any other roles. <laughs> Not I mean, like, I think I knew that already. I'd be like, yeah, I'm set for life. Definitely a lucrative, lucrative position. Has it been the same voice actor the entire time? Yes. That's insane. For 25 years. Good for, good for her. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Ah. I think Corey must have assumed it was gonna hit on shield. Or activated some, he was gonna hit the hitbox of some kind. 
So those those A's were uh, him mashing there. Is my guess. Yeah. Plays Kirby both as technically as you can play Kirby. Oh Kirby, what a character! What a character! Woo! Bop! Woo! Oh! Oh, that was smart. Damn, Shorty. Okay. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta get, I gotta pick, I gotta get a pick of all three. The boys and Chopper. Up there. I feel like Kirby really struggles with these low percents when like everything he has can be CC'd. Oh yeah. I know a lot of characters do, but I feel like Kirby like extra does. Oh, well, Kirby has like a very low grab, so it's not like. Is that yeah. his grab is actually very good? His grab is good, and his throws are good. But if they can, uh, if they can play around your grab and just CC everything else you do, then uh, you're kind of fucked. I'm doing a second one. All right. Team fishing for these back airs. It's working. Kinda. He is down. Oh, missed the meter cancel. All right, we're Barely. back even. Oh, great magnet stall. <laughs> the double dare. Double dare 2000. That was a great spot dodge right there. All right, I'm gonna make a combo video for Hakeem called Double Dare 2000. Double dare 2000. And it's gonna be all of his double dare combos. Where's the Wombat Wednesday combo video? <laughs> uh, are they even in like one place on YouTube? Aren't they? Did you have like three different streamers? We had, th yeah, we've had three different streamers. <laughs> now that Netplay's over, I'm pretty done with Netplay combos. Netplay yeah, combo fair. videos. That's fair. I'm also still locked out of my uh, my YouTube. I think it's RIP. What happened? You got uh, DMCA'd? So, no, so long story short, my I have a, my YouTube was through an AOL account. And YouTube is partnered with Google now. So you can only log in if you know your AOL password. My AOL got hacked and the password was changed. And then I was like, hey YouTube, I can't log in. Can you please help me? And they were like, contact us with your Gmail account. And I was like, it's, it's not a Gmail account. Please help me. And they were like, here you go. Here's some resources to change your Gmail account. And they just kept doing that for like three weeks. So. That's messed up. Yeah. They don't seem to understand what what the problem is. And I can't seem to explain it to them any better. Yeah, but that's YouTube for you. Platform yes, sucks. they suck. So. So I don't know what's going to happen. Oh. Dash attack is so good, but so, so bad. So if you get hit by grounded down me as against Kirby, do you just like die? Is uh, there a DI that saves you? I think out. All right. Because I think it just pops you straight up. Stuff. Also tough when you have an AI that always holds in. All right, good to know. Corey just in in charge of this game right now. We say that, but he's actually like very slightly behind. He just looks more confident or like comfortable though. Yeah, Hakim kind of looks like he's scrambling more. Pressing a lot of buttons right now, which is unlike Hakim. Uh oh. Yeah, that was that was He's the fine. wrong choice. You should have went towards the balloon. <laughs> that joking aside, that actually would have made him uh, go into like 
uh, hit lag when he hit the balloon. That's true. Definitely I've done it. Definitely would have saved him a little bit. Balloon DI is like actual, like it's real. <laughs> the only thing is you lose the moral victory because they popped the balloon. That's true. And then that's it's like bad. Using a, it's like using a human shield. Oh. Not the balloon. No. You just have a character that makes the balloon. You can just spawn balloons as a move. I want to see how much extra credit Hickey can tack on. This is the first time he's had like a, like a lead lead. The, the entire set. Yeah, he's always been like just a little bit behind. I was saying this earlier to somebody. Hakeem, also myself in a similar way, we're both really good with the lead and both really bad from behind. Yeah. Um... So when Hakeem, now that he finally has a lead, I feel like he might start to feel more in control and his decision making will improve. Yeah. He plays very scrambly when he's not winning. But that will kill. Oh, oh no, it won't kill. All right. one, of my, one of my favorite memes is this uh, edited like thing. It's like a drawing of Goofy that says like, you've probably seen the original drawing of like Goofy. It says like, damn bitch, you live like this. But it's just that, but like some of the words are blocked out. So it just says, damn bitch, live. <laughs> damn bitch, live. That's me every time I get grabbed by Kirby. You're like, just live. Just please live. live. Oh, the, the Double Dare 2000. The Mark Summers combo. Oh, okay, that was so, so good. Oh, he almost <laughs> he almost got him, got him. Got him, got him. Oh, does not get all the hits of Dare. Now Hakeem can get some stuff going. That was good waiting for his response. Yep. Both these players good at waiting. Ooh, Did you that, see SDI? that SDI? Yo. Oh, that was like check mark SDI right there. <laughs> that was nuts. Not quite enough. Approaching Kirby off stage is always scary. That's why I don't do it. He hasn't tried killing him with inhale once, which means Hakeem is the only opponent uh, here. Oh, I guess he hasn't done it to you. You are the only. He has, the not only done, he has not done it to me. He has tried once or twice. I was gonna say this. Like Hakeem may be the only person in here that Corey respects. <laughs> it's also scary to do against Ice. Oh, oh my God. That would have been so sick. That would have been so funny. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh God. Oh fuck. Oh no. Bro. He has the he has the platform. Certified wow. bra moment. Alright. God, I don't want my Alright. 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 No promises about your fries while while I'm, while you're up here. Hold on, hold on. Peep the commentator cam real quick. Well, they're setting up Serb versus Saber. Got Wombat and uh, Chopper on the mic. What do you think about this grand finals? Yeah, me too. Oh, Mo wants to take over for Chopper? Down like a clown, look at this. You can take the headset. Ice climbers. Ice climbers. Uh, that's something I didn't want to hear. Kirby Ice Climbers Finals. Wow, what a world we're living in. What a world. So right now we got uh Serb versus the Curb. Serb. 
Curb, will this be a quick 3-0 or a grindy Game 10 Grand Finals? Will the Kirby fan take this from behind? Or will the Scoff fan pick it up, pick it up, pick it up? Yeah. Pick it up is a Ska song, huh? No, no, they just say that a lot in Ska. Uh. Why is there a thing? It's a, it's a, it's called a muff. It's you, it's like a hand warmer. Ah. And it's also a big plush of chopper. Yeah. A muff. Yes. That's an unfortunate name. It is an unfortunate name. This probably came first before the other one. Yeah, I also find it really unfortunate how the rich girl from Arthur is named Muffy. The rich girl from what? Arthur. That's rough. Yeah. Anyway, uh... Ooh, did you see that neutral for the first interaction? Yeah, just whizzed right they past them. They just looked at each other. Uh -huh. They just felt each other out. So, uh... So this was a very narrow Game 5 last stock in uh, Winner's Finals. Yeah. So we will see all the narrowness in this set to come. Hopefully. Well, unless one of the, serves favor. Unless one of the two adapted. Yeah. You know, maybe if Serb wins this, the MDT will nerf Ice Climbers. Uh, no matter how you nerf Ice Climbers, they're just going to find another way to do their Ice Climber shit. Yeah. Alright, alright. So we got... <gasps> Oh, look we how got the cute! Parka. Look how cute! Yeah, it's cold outside. Put on your parka, Kirby. Baby, it's cold outside. That was a hitbox? I, I guess so. I am just so enchanted by Kirby in a parka. And then it's the, the ends of his, his headband clipping out of it. Get him out of here! As, Hi. as Wario says, get out of here! As Kirby says, Hi. Alright, so. Panic down smashes aren't gonna get you very far here. No. Nope. Grabs will. Especially if you're Ice Climbers, the character who grabs best. Because there's two of them. Because there's two of them. There's fucking two of them. Uh huh. Sir whipping the ground down special there. Did you see that Serve used side B to get uh, Nana out of the way? Yeah. Gets him with the suplex. Gets him with the Nana killer. Gets him with the dam the, the Danimals up air. Wait, why is that the Danimals? Uh, because the, the first person who used the Danimals up there was doing it in one hand, while in the other hand, they were uh, slurping up a refreshing ice cold tube of Danimals yogurt. What? What? I feel like I missed some inside joke from another commentary set. Perhaps. Bonk. I think that should have a hitbox. That slam, it should hit the other ice climber. Uh -huh. Uh, so Saber, uh, weaving himself in. All right. Oh no, I just realized what he's repping. What is he repping? Oh, okay. You know, what, who, who, what Corey's repping, I'm not gonna say. Huh. Cluzy? Clussy? What's a Clussy? I'll let you think about it. Uh, so I have an idea. They're about even. Yeah. But you know, Serb, that Serb has a little bit of an. Okay, no, it's not even. Serb takes game one. 
Do you think Kirby would honk if you squeezed him? He does seem like a bit of a, a honker. Don't say that. <laughs> Don't say that. Unsay that right now. Okay. What I thought. Two, one, go. You're the one who brought it up. You implied it. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. I just think he looks squeaky. All right, so gets him with the blizzard from Dairy Queen. Oh, both of them make it on. Not really being team players with each other. Oh, you see Nana just like going all weird? Mm -hmm. She oh, always yeah. makes everything weird. Yeah. Third wheel. Uh huh. This isn't supposed to be a threesome. What? What? What are we playing golf? Uh, yeah, yeah, we're playing golf because uh, the character with the lowest percent is winning. Golf rules. Oh no! Hey. Oh no! That wound up being a surprisingly favorable trade. Yeah. All right. That so, was good SDI. Not that it mattered at all. Not quite evening it out there. Oh, we got a handoff. Try to reposition himself, but it's too late. Sort of squirmed his way free. Kirby with the jumps, but not enough. He, he uh, didn't use his last jump and chose to do it early. And that did not work out for him. No, it didn't. Sweet spying ledge will only do you so much when the other person's ledge hogging. You have to become ungovernable. Uh, okay, so Nana decided to peace out there. And this might be Serb's game. No, I mean Saber's game. Yeah, Saber's game. You know, you can't spell Saber with every sing without every single letter in Serb's name. And you, you can't spell his old tag. You can't spell Saber's old full tag without every single letter in Saber. E what What is Saber's old tag? Serbian film. No, no, you said Saber's old tag. Oh, I meant to say, I meant to say Serb's old tag. Uh, well, I have a bad right. habit of misspeaking and not noticing. Solid. Two Quite, I'm making this one, like one. All right. Game three. Yo, yo, give me that Chopsky hunk. Yeah. Oh, this is warm. It, yeah, especially since my hands were just in it. Ah, thanks for warming it up for me. A little Chomsky hunk, aren't you? Uh, okay, okay, game three. F throw there is really risky. Because there's there's two of them. Yeah, one of them could just, he could just attack. Makes quick work. Just gimping that poor banana. Banana, nana. Banana, 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 split. Oh, nice, nice synchronization of the splits. Let me try. Banana, 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 oh, fuck. Saber. Uh, only I have the clairvoyance to do that. Okay. So uh, we're, that we're was actually a great not cross even. up right there. You made it ambiguous. Uh huh. Like, if it wasn't ambiguous, you would have just, like, like down smashed your back air or something out of shield. Oh, yeah. So, uh, 
<laughs> just so everyone at home is aware, Wombat is currently playing Pokemon Go on commentary. Hey, what are you, a cop? <laughs> I just thought it was an amusing, fun little factoid. Okay, okay, officer. He's a, you're a multitasker. People wish that you could, <laughs> that, that they could do what you do. You know, we got a lot of time. We got a lot of uh, neutral to analyze. Yeah. The ice climber is Kirby neutral. <laughs> All right, keep doing icy things. Oh, he actually got it. He was talking about how he never did not get a single one of those before. Uh huh. And lo and behold, he got it. Yeah, the entire last set, he did not get a single one of those handoff kills. But it doesn't matter because Saber is still up the stock. Fun fact, I've only ever beaten one Sonic game and it was Sonic Mania. Despite me owning several of them. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, Sonic Mania, the... Uh, so this, I still had it because, yeah, we're on Green Hill Zone. This song is the final boss music of Sonic and Knuckles. Uh-huh. What is the final boss? Dr. Eggman? Ah, uh, hell if I know. I didn't finish I didn't finish it. I would assume. Mm hmm Alright. I, I know for damn sure it wasn't Heavy Lobster. Uh, no, no it wasn't. That's a, that's a Kirby boss. Sure is. Sounds like the name of a, a Mega Man boss, too. Oh, the, the Tipman! That pretty much, like, closed this set. Uh, the Tipton Hotel. Ooh, yeah, nice where's little... London where you need her? Yeah. Where's the Prindle? Coming in clutch with the Prindle right there. Uh-huh. Even waited for the bear knowing it was coming. You know what my favorite part of the Prindle is? The part where it says D3. I don't really know what it means. I think it means like drive three times, or maybe it means my main, King DDD. Three, two, one, go! Uh, anyway, we're going to game five. We're going to Smashville, or as I like to call it, Smashville, or as I like to call it, Trashville. Or as I like to call it, uh, where I go pretty much every game one. Or as I like to call it, Wombat Wednesday. So, uh, you know, I realized it's it's Saturday night and KK Slider is not there. It's probably alone on a Saturday night, which is pathetic. God, yeah, God, we're pathetic. Are you with all your Smash friends on a Saturday night? God, you could have been here too if you went to home for the holidays. No stream. I mean, D3 stands for my main, King DDD. Did someone say ratio? I don't know, did they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ratio this. Ratio this this Kirby versus Ice Climbers, the Kirby at nice percent. Not anymore. Not anymore. That would have worked if it wasn't on the sliding platform going in that particular direction. Yeah. But that's the way they were going. Someone positioned for a hazards off Smashville. Who would do that? Who would do that? Honestly. With the little like like platform in the middle that does next to nothing most of the time. Yeah. The final destination away from final destination. The Mel Cavern away from Mel Cavern, or dare I say, the Blazing Hideout away from Rivals of Ether. So it looks like it looks like we're gonna see a reset bracket, unless Sir turns things around.
Yeah, with Ice Climbers, though, you never know with these guys. Because they can just melt a stock with one neutral win, or it can take forever. Stop doing that, man. Mm -hmm. Stop grabbing Ice Climbers. Stop using the slowest throw in front of their faces. Maybe back throw? I don't Up know. Up throw, so you're out of sight? Up throw's been working. Wow, funny you should mention that, Malkasaur, because the New York scene uses a special build where Smashville is rigged such that um, the platform never goes that far off stage. Anyway, uh, last stock for Serb, if unless he doesn't want to reset the bracket and actually win this. All right, so it's tied up again. What's going to happen? What are they going to do? Hey, boo boo. That's the You going to secure that picnic basket? Go to set two. Uh, I don't know, Yogi. Looks like Serb. Oh, yeah, yeah, Serb takes game four. I don't know, Yogi. Hey, yo, boo boo. You see that picnic basket over there, boo boo? Oh, well, Yogi. I, I don't know how to do boo boo's voice. Yeah, yeah, no one knows booby. Everyone knows Yogi. Alright, game five. Game five going to Delfino Secret and not Jellystone Park. Yeah. What a crime to the heavens that Jellystone Park is not a stage in Project Plus. Yo, wait till wait till multiverses though. Yo, is, is Hannah Bar Yeah, yeah, it is because that's Scooby. It could have Yogi. The possibilities are endless. Just like the Olive Garden. Just like just like the Olive Garden. All right, so so Serb wins. Serb wins uh, home for the Hagadays. Uh, good game, Whoa. good game. Nice turnout. Uh, hey, Serb, what was it like winning home for the Hagadays? Pretty tough battle you had there, huh? He won by a lot. Oh, really uh, doing the, the little split seat. Oh, no, beyond saving. Oh, uh -huh. okay, this is still about even. You better mash that B button like you like to pay it on it, sir. Didn't mash hard enough. Or maybe mash too much. Hmm. Oh, get some with the old razzle dazzle. The handoff. Ooh, fucking bullies him. Oh my god, he lived. The curve Damn, lived. bitch, live. Ooh. Ooh, what else? Ooh, he's cooking. Aim. All right. All that, and then he just runs into a down smash. That's kind of... Kind of cringe. You hate to see it. Mm -hmm. All right, back to even. Uh huh. Just a chumby 20% on Sabre's Kirby. It's 25. Yes, yeah, Sabre, bring it back, woo. I couldn't have said it better myself, Teals. He did bring it back, woo. Yo, I'm liking, I'm liking how close the set is. Yeah, me too. Anything can happen. Even that. Wow. Corey, coming from being a stock down for most of this game to now having the stock lead. I can't believe it. So what's, uh, what's happening right now? Serb just waiting around, trying to scope out the situation, perhaps waiting it 
for the stage to change from battlefield mode to stadium mode. Perhaps. Wow. Oh my god. At 85 after the hit. Sheesh. Come on, Serb. Make some magic happen. Make some... Oh, that was, that was close. Good shit on Saber just uh, getting out of there when he did. He wasn't going to lose this tournament. Uh, Russian uh, reset! Two finals! Uh, Let's uh, fucking go! Uh, and baby! Oh, how exciting. Love said it best herself. LFG Corey. Let's fucking go, Corey. What? So we got a reset. We're 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 here for a while, gamers. All right, first big neutral punish going for. Uh... Wow, it's still it's still like they're they're kind of like scrapping still. Yeah. We're back where we started here. Serp taking the first stock. Oh my god, just piling on the damage. I'm digging the music here. Uh, Rainbow Rockets uh, in Pokemon Sign Ultra Moon Team Rocket decided to rebrand to be for LGBT inclusive. I wonder why Wave landed there. Probably just a Wave Land. Wave Landing's fun. He probably said in his head, hey, see that Wave Land? I totally Wave Landed there. Right as they backed up too, so there was really nothing to uh, Surf could have did. Yes. All right, knocking Nana right out of the park there, keeping Popo busy, so she could not be rescued. It's like, look, look, look. You gotta pay attention to me. I'm the one you want to fight. You're getting distracted. Uh huh. Got a big Saber fan in the audience. Really? Uh, Teals from. Uh, fuck, where's Teals from again? Uh, California. I forget NorCal or SoCal. Teals from California says, Let's go, Saber. Woo. Is that like, Let's go, Army? Woo? I don't know. Never heard anyone cheer for the army. No, 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 like the Ice Climbers player army. So, uh, <laughs> Saber, hanging in there. I don't know what's gonna happen. 
Oh, that happens. Okay. He is no longer hanging in there. Let's go, Saber. <laughs> oh, Kami. Uh, you know, it's a tie between all of them because I hate them. Jeff Boy Corey. Jeff Boy Corey in the kitchen. Je Chef Cooking Boy R Z. Cooking up the hurt. Cooking up some pain on this poor plumpy pair of ice climbers. And what's it what's part of this recipe? A good neutral. Devastating combos. Low profiling. And some big obese hits. So, uh, uh, the serve at the, well, he was at the PM percent. But now we're, now we're tied up again. This is as close as it close can get. Ooh! I disagree. This is not super close anymore because, because Nana is gone. And so my Popo be because he is. Yeah, I'm talking about the I'm talking about the sets as a whole. Ah, yes. That oh. was game. So we've so far this is game uh game 12. We could have 15 games between these two at this tournament. Yeah, I'm surprised they aren't. They probably are sick of each other. They've probably been sick of each other from the get go. By like game two, I'm sure they were both sick of each other. Butter cutter, watch him do cooking by the book. Shouts Mikoshi, Mikoshi the Mihomi. You know, as cooking by the book says, I'll pile all my candy. It's such a pretty sight. Make uh, makes the world taste dandy, but my tummy hurts all night. And you know, that is probably the way. Um, this Soulco Ice Climber feels. His tummy's hurting, and it's gonna hurt all goddamn night. Ooh, that was a great drift by, uh, by Serb. And then the verse uh, no finishes. Um, I'll put in some ingredients, but take the rest for me. I'm not being disobedient. I'm careful, can't you see? I feel Saber is being very careful, and we're all seeing that. So when when Sinji from Lazy Town says, I'm careful, can't you see? The answer is, yeah, we can see Saber being careful. He's keeping the rest of the ingredients for him. Bonk. And you know, just like doing cooking by the book, you know you can't be lazy. Cause if you're lazy, then then you're gonna you're gonna get edge guarded by Saber. Just just look at him look look at him do all those fucking kicks. I hate both of these characters. I don't hate both these characters. Is he just messing with him? Okay, he just wanted to make sure he got it safe. Yep. He's being careful, can't you see? I sure can. It's 1-1. One, one. This is this next game is game number 13. Yup. We are slowly inching towards the conclusion of Home for the Hog Days, a Connecticut Candle Hog monthly tournament. And there's no place like home for the Hog Days. Yup. And between us commons hairs and these two, uh, right here on the playing the game and all the viewers well i mean the viewers are home we're not that is true neither is serb neither neither is saber 
But perhaps this is a second home for us, home for the Hagenes. Thank you, Zom, for this delicious water bottle of water. Mm, oh, yes. can you give me my Gatorade, actually? Thank you, Sire. I think I left my other one by the by the stream setup. But now I'm plenty hydrated for this event. Hmm. A refreshing treat that can't be beat. Water from the water bottle. How are these people still going? <laughs> How boys. Go on a shot, Shadow Hog. What? What? There's so Sorry, much what? glistening saturation of the moisture on their face. <laughs> Shadow Hog too soon. We should have put him on the mic. He went home. He left too soon. Yeah. I'm gonna frame that glow blade on my wall. All right. So we got. Uh, Serb closing it out with a moist down smash. Yeah. I got if if there's not gonna be Serb, I can pretend to be Serb. Or not Serb, uh Shadowhawk. I actually I, I couldn't I couldn't do it off the top of my head. Yeah, it's like a that is a real Shadowhawk town there. Alright, log it up the moisture with a with an up air. Uh take that stock yo both these players they're so sick man they're just they're just so sick look at, look at that grab healing. that grab from serve right there oh he, he just knew that was gonna happen because he's just he, his brain is just massive massively moist it was fucking sick uh -huh. such a nice back air bro both of these guys they're just they're just so awesome they're so good yeah yeah it's paper is like um you just activate my trap card So this is a very uh, supple recovery back to stage. Oh no. Get him, get him with the sloshy forward smash. Yeah, so the ice on the ice climbers when they do their neutral beat, you know, that's like, it's almost like moisture because it's frosty. And yeah. frosty is just cold moisture. Uh huh. Most ice is very moist. Just like the cake from Portal. It's a very supple cake. Uh huh. Succulent, if you will. Yes. Ooh, that down tilt was so sick. Now just run away from that, from the, uh, from Nana. Let's you have to, sometimes, that Nana was like moving. That Nana was like out for blood. That's the thing that Randall says. How, how deliciously played. Fuck, what, what, what does he pay in recess? Oh, unfortunate. That. Damn. You hate to see it. Damn, but damn, but with a B. Is he all out of hope at the end of his rope? I don't think he's all out of hope because this, this is gonna go to game 15. It's like the prophecy or whatever. Or did he put on that talcum powder to keep the moisture off his hand so he could climb that rope to victory? Uh huh. Better, better myself, Wom. This one, could be. Go. Oh, and a banger. For and game 14. What banger is this? I don't know, but I just know it goes hard. Feel free to screenshot. Feel free to screenshot. So Saber getting a strong start. Ooh. Like, listen to this flute, man. You can't tell me this doesn't go hard. I actually zoned out when he said what song this was. I didn't say what song it was. Oh, I don't know. I just know it's a banger. Oh. Listen, they got a they got a violin and a flute, two instruments that just always go hard. So when Saber just lost that last game, did he just not match B hard enough? It, perhaps. Yeah. Oh, he probably didn't realize what move he used until he was off. Oh, he did it grounded, so he wasn't gonna get any height. Oh yeah. Uh. Yeah, I think, yeah I think he might be right. I think that that Sir might be the at the end of his rope. 
Oh, he went for the cuck hold, but he didn't get it. Is that really called the cuck hold? Yeah, Cuck Daddy uh, came up with it. Oh, Cuck Daddy. Because that's what his name is, Cuck Daddy. Well, not anymore. Now I think it's Large March. Indeed. But he changed it because he realized that Cuck Daddy is a really bad fucking name. He probably didn't realize he would do anything like innovative as Cuck Daddy. I like how the like the the rapid jab actually is a very good get off me tool. We're just doing the up throws. It's up throw city over here. It's forward throw city over here. It's up air city over here. It's up air city. For here. This set could end at game 14. Yeah. We got a full stock lead, but you know, for Ices, Ices have a big, like, they're able to make really big comebacks. Because every neutral interaction with an Ices could be your last. You know, unless you have more stocks, of course. Oh, nice bears. It's Bear City. Three stocks to one. Corey sitting pretty, possibly going home with a W. Yeah, the, the double W hit one to complement uh, his Halloween win. What? Okay, so Serb knows that he didn't even get hit. He used a taunt for its intended purpose. Yeah. I've done that before. Wasn't there this one melee mode when Nana just decided to taunt? Whoa. Whoa. Got okay. him. Okay. So in one of the earlier games, I saw uh, he had he had himself use side B as uh, Kirby did the up throw, and it he got hit by the hammer, the weak hit before he hit the ground. <laughs> So he actually wound up not getting the damage from the up throw. Oh, things are looking good for Saber right now, but he's got to stay in his A game until he goes off the screen. Because Serb, if he's going out, he's going out swinging. That hammer that is. Since it's not game 15, you could say he's going down, down in an earlier round. But sugar, we're going down swinging. <laughs> I'll be your number one with a bullet. A loaded god complex. Cock it and pull it. Let's go, Corgi. Let's go, British Welsh Terrier. Corby. All right. Let's oh. all give a round of applause. Saber wins with the reverse bracket reset. 14 games of Kirby Ice Climbers. I am Damn. going to shit myself. Literally? Like, like, do you need to go to the bath? I, I'm not literally going to shit myself. Okay, okay. Good. Another wholesome Corey Hogg victory. Yes. Defending CT, even though he does not live here. No, he doesn't. He does not live in CT. Defending CT from somebody else who does not live in CT. Much like Superman does. Much like the but ugly Martians do. Yeah. Uh, Sandy was supposed to be here? Man, I would have loved to play Sandy. Yeah. He's one of those players who I really want to play, but haven't got the chance to, like, properly sit down and play a real set against. Uh-huh. We might have played once, but I don't... Uh, he says we did, but I don't remember it. Yeah. All right, but good shit, everyone. I'm guessing there's going to be a post... A winner's interview or whatever. A winner's interview. Uh, so once, yeah, we need to get hit. All right. So Corey's had the stuffing. Now it's time for the gravy.
Oh. Another tournament. Another victory for Kirby. Why do we do this? Why did we let this happen? Ugh. Come on, Papa Squad, bud. What's up? Oh, you gotta go potty? Oh. Yeah, winner winner of the boys gotta go potty. Honestly. Huh? <laughs> no. So, I don't mean to sound like an innocent idiot, right? Don't ask. Do not ask. <laughs> I can hear it. <laughs> I'm I'm glad I I wish I didn't know now. Why? Why? Why is this a I'm, thing? I'm so sad. I'm so sad that everyone like your mic is so sensitive that, e that like everyone heard that for sure. Oh, is that Ricky Rides? Oh shit, Rise coming through? Oh man, I love seeing Rise. Yeah, Rise. Um, next Tuesday is gonna be our next hog. I'm gonna make a post on Monday. Um, Alexis, let me be honest with you, okay? Uh, they can hear me, right, Joe? Okay. Let me be honest with you, okay? I um. I had the choice. I had the chance to beat Serb, to stop Serb, right? I blew it. I blew it. Hi! Hey. I love this dude. Homie, homie comes through. He drives like two hours. He's like, he's like, ah, uh, no, I don't know. Weekdays are kind of rough, but any any monthly come through. I, I, I'll come through, and I'm like, okay, yeah, win it. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I never say that. <laughs> no, you never say that. No, no, but um. Fuck, man. Good shit, dude. Honestly. You climbed through it. You uh, did it again. <laughs> did I it did again. it again. I got yeah. it two times in a row. Um, yeah. That's honestly insane. Before you were having doubts, I remember last time we were on the couch, you were having doubts. Like, is this really it? Like, do I really deserve this? But, hey, you did it twice. Can you yeah. say that? Um, I can say that. And I also did it from Losers, which was nice. That is crazy. Um, I'm not... I already respected Sir, but watching him play today, I'm like, dude, this guy's sick. This Serve guy has sick. some sick stuff. Serb um, is dope. He got I, way better. He did. A lot of his decent stuff is crazy. He's getting really good. And um, I knew before this event, I was like, man, I hope I dodged Sir. But like, <laughs> straight up. I let everyone down. <laughs> no, no, no. But at the same time, I had a really, it was a fun set. Oh, um, yeah, no. So the thing is, like, nobody wants to play ICs, but when they play ICs, like, there are some points where you're just like, okay, it's not so bad. Yeah. yeah, maybe for some characters it's harder, some it's easier. But at the end of the day, usually when I get when I fuck up, I'm like, that was my fault. Mm. Like, uh, stupid, stupid, not grounded cutters right in his shield. It's just like, here I am, grab me. Exactly. You know? Um, I'm also lucky that Nana screwed him over at least twice. Which at was least nice. twice. Um, that he was sad. Didn't help that he like SD'd like two two stocks like like one for the reset and then one for like game game two of the reset. Where That's he just, what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. I was just like, oh no. But um, yeah. I mean, he's he played phenomenally regardless. Like he beat Hakeem. Who else did he, who else did he beat? He beat uh, he beat well, me. But uh. <laughs> He, uh, oh, he took you out in, in winter's side too, right? He did. Yeah. Um, so. I don't, that one might have been game five or it was 3 1. I don't remember. I think it was game five. But, um, it was hard. And he did really well. It was, I'm, I think we're both just like, what the fuck? You know, we're still figuring each other out and figuring out the matchup. You know, I want to say, yeah, dude, I don't know. All yeah. the ICs play different too. And they do different things, which it, is cool. It is kind of insane. Um, yeah. like, I don't know how. I, I never understood that, right? Like, how, how every person can play a character so differently and so uniquely to the extent, like... I mean, how many Kirby players are there that uh, that play the way you play? The way I play? I don't know, because there are there are really good Kirbys that are mostly inactive. And, or they're in Europe. shout out to Eon. Um, <laughs> there's Code Red, and Code Red says that he functionally plays different than me, and he plays more aggressive or whatever. But um, And then there's, uh, there's Cyan... But uh, I don't really know if there's anybody that plays like me, but not that many Kirby's bots right now. Uh, SSK, I got to see him play more. 
but um, I don't know. Dude, Ryan is blowing up the chat. And you know what? I think he raises a good point. I think I won because I'm the only one who wore the sweater. Where's my award? He told me like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Christmas uh, Christmas ugly sweater contest. I show up, not a single person. Pat forgot your, your, your award. I'm never coming back. <laughs> Why do you know think what I showed up? It's you want to know what it is? You want to know what it is? It's a copy of the B movie. Dude, has, now I'm really bummed. He's got Are you serious? 58 copies of the B movie in different medias. Don't ask. I won't. <laughs> Nothing but respect for that man. We, I remember uh, the 64 amateur bracket. We gave out a copy of the B movie um, for the for the trophy, and the dude's like, "This is the best thing I've ever gotten. I need you to sign it." So we wrote like first place 64 amateur bracket winner and sign all our names and we gave it to him and he's like i'm gonna i'm gonna hang this up <laughs> <laughs> i oh. would too dude yeah honestly hang it up frame it <laughs> oh man God. but let me think here next week you ready um, big mass monthly i feel more ready now um it's it's strange kind of having two like weeklies or not regionals like regional consecutive but at all the same time it's sick for yeah. me probably not for not in general but um it's nice because my finals finished this week so oh so you're chilling yeah i'm chilling after thursday i'm like oh dude um coming coming through on tuesday <laughs> uh no because my finals tuesday and thursday Fair enough. after though um i have nothing going on until i go to school um there's a so new york monthly on the 15th i was I thinking about that I problem is going. that's like very fun. right around the time that i leave gotcha. it's doable to go there i could take a train and then take an uber 20 minutes after that sure. um but i like move on like the 16th or the 17th or something so. cool. that'd be tight maybe if you get maybe if you get it done early possibly yeah maybe i mean i don't know i haven't been to a mass weekly or a mass monthly in so long oh dude yeah, the it's hand warmer cool. yo it Yo, Artie's got everything. Or is this Artie's? Or that's that's uh, Caleb's. It's Khalid's. Okay. He's a melee to you. I saw Artie walking around with what he looked like he had a mega buster on his arm. <laughs> yeah, and I was mega like, yo. And then he was he was the hand massager, and I was like, yeah, Dude. that shit saved my life one day. Not actually, but it like saved my bracket run, which gotcha. is more important in my life. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> um, what's it called? Um, fuck me. I um, I forgot he labeled this. Oh. Khalib is just a T.O. Just like I am a T.O. And just like Artie's a T.O. We T.O. everything. You're all great. Bro, hey, shut up. Oh, come oh, on. Oh, come on. You um, ass. Um, God, how come you're good at the game and incredibly handsome? I plead the fifth. <laughs> Slack in the draw, right? Um, fuck. I mean, hey, hey your words. Not yeah. mine. Um, big Rock Boys showing up. Yo. Next week, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're gonna, we're gonna be lifting stones in mass, bro. Uh, best double team to come out of the of the woodwork. You just be ready because I'm I'm like I'm kind of shitty at doubles. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I major let Justin down. I was like, I'm oh, sorry, dude. Uh, I was uh, playing the one v one while he was getting edge guarded. So. It, it's totally fine because there's like what I've learned about doubles is that there's different types of partners that you have, um, and it's your and it's like if you're a really good doubles player, then it's your job to play around them despite however good you think you are. Um, that's what kind of humbled me a little bit, because I was like, I thought I was like decent at doubles, and then like I'm like, why am I winning with some people, but losing with, with others? And I'm like, I gotta, I gotta weigh it down a little bit, and I come to realize that uh, people play differently. Just how it is, so. Yeah, um, synergy's a huge thing, you know? But like keeping that basic game plan forward, like, just cycle between knocking them off ledge. Do not do 1v1s. That was a big problem for me because playing Kirby in singles is vastly different. All my like my heavy punish game in singles does not work in doubles. For obvious reasons. My throws take forever. Yeah. So, kind of the same thing with Ice Climbers, but I got away with it a lot. But. You know what? I got an idea for doubles. Um, use up throw. Kind of like what, um, what Bobby does. Because he'll use up throw to just set send, right? He'll just use yeah. the send. And then we can focus on a 2v1. That's why we should do Battlefield. Because if I grab them and up throw them top flat, they're gone. Yeah. Funny. Um, it is really funny. It's a funny thing. And I could set it up too. Uh, 
Oh, Rise. Thank you. Um, funny story about that. Me and Mickey were not supposed to te uh, team. Me and Teals at Blacklisted. We, um... <laughs> Funnily enough, like, me and Shay were supposed to team, right? And Shay was like, I'm gonna be late. And Bobby couldn't make it due to unfortunate uh, events. Um, so Mickey was teamless. And Hebney was actually, if you didn't show up, Ricky, uh, Hebney was gonna team with, with Teals. And I make fun of him, like, there's no way you would have gotten as far as I did <laughs> um, with Mickey. Just because I like fucking roasting him. But thank you. Um, we got ninth. That was just kind of. We lost a double fox, like, twice. I, dude, that's a problem. I think about that every time I try to play Kirby and Dubs, and, like, we run a double fox. I'm thinking about uh, I could go Meta Knight, and you're already used to that, so. Meta Knight Zelda is actually rancid. Like it is yeah. the most disgusting team I've ever played, <laughs> and like and like you can even tell based on like me and Peels. Like that's a great example. Me and Joe were gonna do double uh, Meta Knight uh, Zelda, but like we just both weren't feeling it. Like it took us too long to rep the engines, so we just kind of. But um, we were playing so hot last night too. It was really it was a real shame. Yeah. Um, I love teaming with Zelda. Um, you know my favorite team. You remember Malcolm, right? Mm -hmm. uh, oh, at one of the the CR oh, monthlies. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he was playing. I played Kirby Meta Knight, and he was playing Zelda. And it, <laughs> he called our team Brokeback Fountain. <laughs> and I just remember I watched the about someone recently, completely forgot about it. And I was like, I was Heath, he was Jake. It was the funniest, funniest. That thing is ever. so fucking funny. That's what I strive for. It's just great team uh, it. names like that. I love that man, Malcolm. He hit me up the other week. Um, well, actually, the other month now. He hit me up. He's like, he's like. Um, cause a long, long time ago, back in CGCs, we, we used to talk about running a summit, like doing a summit like theater, right? It was like his biggest thing he always wanted to do. He's, he's like, where do I, he like, he DM me, he's like, where do I throw money? And he like threw like a large sum of money. And yeah. to like back it. And I am super grateful for him, uh, for that. He is, uh, he is an awesome dude. I miss him to death, honestly. Yeah, dude. Well, it's funny because, um, that was, was that on like the melee anniversary or whatever that he did that? Because I think so. we, we like. We met up for the first time in a while at a bar, and I told him about it, and he was like, immediately just like, "All right, who do I give money to?" And I was like, "Message Dom." <laughs> yeah. And he was like, "Yeah, dude." Yeah, I remember him actually. Now that you say that, I remember him saying, "Hey, Corey told me about this. Where wallet here?" Yeah. Hey. Just straight up, just like, "Let's go, let's go, come on." <laughs> Plan. Where's your Venmo at? Where's your PayPal? You know. Uh, but he's doing well. So. Go ahead. I, you know, I always want to go up there and just like, is he still in the same place? Um, I believe so, yeah. Yeah, we should all just raid his house one day, like old man. <laughs> just like, just raid the house. Bring all yep. of Canada, like last time. Oh my god, speaking of, oh dude. That's the craziest thing about COVID, there's so many people that, like, I haven't seen since 2019. Like, the Canadians, and like, Val, Sharon, all those guys. Oh my god, I miss them so much. They're all great people, honestly. Um, we should go to McSnaster, if that's possible. I'm thinking about it, um... So now that I have a better idea of what's going on, mm -hmm. um, I can probably make it happen. I don't know, like, if that means I drive there, I fly there, probably fly. Smart. Yeah. I mean, depending on where you're going, flying seems like the best option. Like, I was okay driving to Montreal because, like, you get past the border and it's pretty close. Your GPS is still good there. Um, you don't really get lost. But I've never been to. Where's it? Ontario? Or it's like pretty. Um, oh my god, I can't remember. It's like pretty close to, um, like New Hampshire or like Vermont. Like it's still like close huh. to the border. But it's not like too, too far, but it's like, it's enough for me to be like, I'm probably going to get a flight, personally. I'm not going to fly. I mean, you're a little bit closer, but I mean, also that's depending where you're going. Maine. Maine, you are. So it'd probably be better to fly. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I think that too. I mean, if it was like, if I came from like Albany, it'd probably be okay, but I've no idea about main, so yeah, probably just fly. So. Yeah, main, main B. Something. Yeah, right. Yeah. I, I gotta, I gotta come up there. I always want to visit main, so. Whenever you get um, there. I'm at UNE, and it's the like the most beautiful campus I've ever seen. So. Say less. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hitchhike. I'm gonna oh. get in the trunk. Dude. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Um. Okay. We'll see. It's just come when it's a bit warmer, cause main is you. fucking cold. Yeah. <laughs> I live in upstate New York, but. <laughs> oh yeah, but oh, yeah. Bacon. that's the only problem. That and it being four hours away, but not so bad. So, Mick Schnaster's near Toronto. So, Toronto. Okay. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. So, Brad. All right. Anything else, gamer? Um. 
I'm just happy to see everybody again. Um, some great sets. Didn't expect to win. Happy I did. Um, really fun time. Can't wait for the next one. Um, I'll be far away, but I'll be sure that I'll still come to the monthlies no matter what. See the boys and the girls. Love it. Love to hear it. Oh. I love this dude, honestly. Yeah. Oh. I just ignore that. All right. Thank you Anthony's for watching. Okay. All right. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for watching. I'm done with this guy. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate all of you. Um, thank you for making this night special, like every night. Um, to be honest, <laughs> like, um, I'm super grateful for everybody here. That uh, especially the ones that stay, they stay till the end, all the way through. God bless you. Um, you'll see us at in Massachusetts on the 18th. Right. All right. Come watch us lift rocks. Yes. Big rock. Lift big rock. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> Thank you.